right, boys and girls, it's time. Turn this hat around. I just got a haircut. You missed it. We scored nine runs in the first inning. Cubs made three errors. We scored nine runs on four hits. And you can see right there, I got that in a pack today. And then I went and bought... Uh, uh, Garrett Cole and finished off the Yankees. So as I said in chat, I need Otani, Betts, and Trout to uh, finish off the live series. I was done with the live series earlier last year because they were giving me more diamonds and packs last year. <clears throat> What's up, Lynn Weezy? Welcome, welcome. We are trying to make these last days of NCAA 14 uh, go faster. <laughs> I'm done playing. I already did my last stream. I just moved my PlayStation over underneath my big screen TV. All I have is my PS5 now. Got almost a full square foot of extra counter space on my desk. Um, and check this out. Oh, yeah. It's installed, bad boys. It's installed. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready to go at 3 o'clock on Monday. I will be live right before 3 o'clock on Monday. So we will uh, figure out what team we're going to use for that particular uh, stream. It's not one we're going to play. We're just going to fuck around with recruiting sim games and go week to week and, and try to uh, learn some stuff and discover it on our own and all that good stuff. Once we get to actual gameplay, I'll be playing Mizzou. Um, and we'll just play as long as I have interest in playing at Mizzou, and then we'll look to go somewhere else. And I wish they would get Team Builder live like last week because we, we need to be able to get in there and put our schools together before the game, goddamn game launches. But, you know, they're dragging their feet, so we'll see. Maybe they'll put it out tomorrow. Who knows? Um, putting it out Monday at like noon doesn't help anything. So, anyway, here we are at the NLCS, and I made uh, one change to our pitching rotation. You know Chris Cutliffe had an excellent game against Arizona, and he's going to the bullpen. You're like, Vaughn, why would you move him to the bullpen for Andrew Painter, who's struggled at the end of the season? Well, I'm doing that because I'm usering, and I pitch well with Painter, Cutliff's clutch is only 58, so when there's a man on second or third, his hits per nine go from 87 to 58, where Painter's stays the same. And this is why you got to think chess, not checkers. The Dodgers, look at the contact and power differences from lefties and righties, all right? So Horner, 78-96. Altman, 78-82. He does have more power against righties, though. Otani, that's his pitching. Um, there we go. He does better against righties. That's fine. It's Otani, right? Mookie Betts does better, has more power against lefties, better contact against righties. Diaz, more power and contact against lefties. Danny Jansen. More power against le against lefties, better contact against righties. Alec Bohm, way better contact and power against lefties and righties. They've got these two like rookies down here playing left and right field. I don't know why. I don't know how these guys are doing it with this garbage in left and right field. But neither of these guys are any good. So we get to the bottom half of this. Or we get past Yandy Diaz, and they really have nothing against right-hand pitching. Nothing, right? So as long as we can keep men off base so Horner's clutch doesn't kick in, Otani and Betts and Diaz's clutch don't kick in, right? We, we know these guys are tough. Um, Horner, we got to keep these guys at the bottom of the lineup off the base paths so Horner doesn't get that clutch kicking in, okay? So that's why we moved <clears throat> Cutliff to the bullpen and put Painter so that Framber Valdez is only going to start one game the whole series. 
And if we go seven, these three guys will start twice. So they're only going to see one lefty as a starting pitcher the entire series. We'll put Cutliff back in rotation for the World Series, depending on who we're facing and what their stuff is. All right? So that's why we're doing that. And uh, I'm ready to go. So Texas and Baltimore are playing each other on the other side. Now, the Dodgers pitching is, is ridiculous, right? They have four guys in the 90s. Corbin Burns is their number five starter. He's not even in the rotation for the for this division series or league championship series. So they have four guys in the 90s. But their bullpen is not deep. And Alzale, we already hit him for two home runs in the ninth inning of that game that we had to win to get home field, right? And his clutch is only 71. 72, 77. Carl Edwards has 91 clutch. So, Carl Edwards is the dude we don't want to see with men in scoring position. But everybody else will be fine. So, that's the game plan. Keep the bottom of the order off the base paths. And, oh, also Otani. Look at this. His walks per nine is 47. He had 104 walks this year. He's had over 90 walks each of the last four years. So he's regressing in his walks per nine. So if we can be patient and draw some walks and get him out of the game, we have a much better chance to beat these guys. And he's going to pitch at least two games. So. And. Two, three, yeah, he could pitch that. Or if they go Cor Corbin Burns, then he would pitch here. So he would pitch on the road twice. So anyway. That's where we stand. That's the game plan. Only going with one left-handed pitcher in the rotation this round um, to uh, offset how well they hit lefties. So, uh, yeah, let's go. <clears throat> get there. Get there. They have the right alternates. Yeah, they do. All right, these are our Sunday hats, so we're going to wear these. <clears throat> and here we go. Made a couple of changes. I put Henry Davis in against the right-hand pitching. Um, I want the better throwing arm behind the plate. Otherwise, they're about the same. Turn up the sound here just a touch. <clears throat> so uh yeah home field advantage we've got to uh we've got to win both these games i don't want to split and go back there we got to take care of business here hello and welcome thanks for joining us mlb the show brings you the national league sunday night baseball series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton. I'm John. Yeah, those two can be quiet. All right. Alec Manoa. And on the hill, Alec Manoa. Four pitch guy. He's he had a rough first run. inning in game one against uh, Arizona. So hopefully he uh, does a better job here. Yeah, we're already better than last time. There we go. Keep him off the base paths. Good job, good job. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little Try and get him on changeup. <clears throat> uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game. Big there we go. Let's go. Two down. Two down, two down. Let's go, let's go. Keep Shohei in the park. That'll help a long. Oh. 
I want to throw a fastball. I want to throw a slider on the outer edge. Ooh, just missed it. He didn't swing. All right, now we'll go fastball. Now we'll go change up. And we go down. One, two, three. Let's go. Two Ks in the inning. They didn't get the ball past the pitcher's mound at all. Probably only 30 feet. Let's go. Oh, let's go. And we're back. And on the hill, the big righty, Shohei Otani. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire... Right, we have got to be patient. Lay off the changeup. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches? Or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Make him throw a lot of pitches. Get him out of the game early. Wind is blowing left field corner to right field corner. There we go. Slightly in from left, but across. It's blowing across. There we go. Three and one. Do not have to swing. The cutter was floating in there, and we are out in front of it. All right, let's go. Battle like that off. Hold on. I got to turn off Discord because all the boys are uh, posting shit. Sent something to uh, Cincy. I got to go dark till we're done with this series. There we go. There we go. Work a walk. First batter. Make him throw seven pitches in the first batter. Let's go. Don't want to chase the splitter. That's a ground ball right there if I swing at it. Oh, it's hardy. I did uh, drink some juice with creatine in there, so that'll help my mental focus. If you guys don't know what creatine is, go look it up. Ooh, that was a nasty pitch. It's used to uh, help you work out and get more output, but it's also great for your brain, especially when you get older like me. Oh, no, don't chase that. There's nothing you can do with that pitch. <clears throat> All right, Gorman, we got to take, take our time. Also, throw one down the middle, great, but otherwise... Yo, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. There we go. All right. Two on, two out. All right. Arenado has just been on fire the last two playoffs. Oh. And then we are impatient swinging a shitty pitch. All right. Well, hey, we made him throw a lot of pitches. We had a lot of base runners, so we're going to turn our lineup over. Here we go. Got him. That's three straight K's. Let's go. Can't score if they can't get on base. These top five batters are the uh, most dangerous. The bottom half of the order is is uh, not as good, especially the last three guys. Last two guys. Boom. Sucks against righties. Bottom two guys are rookie outfielders. And uh, Danny Jansen's the only one down there we got to worry about. And he's he's got power, but his contact isn't as good. Ooh. that again. Of course he hits it right inside the bag.
The way the CPU is able to place balls in this game is just ridiculous. Yeah, you're not going to get there. Just let it go. Got him. Get there, Lars. All right. No damage outside that little single dental line. Got guy on. He didn't get the scoring position. Nobody's clutch got to kick in. Let's go. Come on, Lars. Nice pitch. Thought that was going outside. Ah, swung early and over it. You just got a piece of that. I thought that was going wide. That thing snaps off at the last second. Drop, 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 drop. There we go. Let me edit my stream so it says game one. We didn't get that call. He got that pitch earlier. Ah. Bored in on me. Thought I was going to be able to get that and just kept riding in. All right, two and two. Protect. Hope he hangs one. There we go. Three and two. What's his speed? Not fast enough. Little we'll chance to double play. On the ground, two ball. To second, that's one. To Diaz, that's two. If you blink, you might miss it. And that's the magic of the 5 4 3 double play. It happens so fast. Which is All right, Mason. Get us going again. The entire play will break down if one person has bad timing. We cannot chase that nasty uh, slur, slider, or whatever he throws. We gotta stay back, make that pitch come over the middle of the plate, and stay there. Two outs. Foul it off. All right, pitch twenty-seven already. Tomorrow is the first two rounds of the MLB draft. The boom. I think it's at 6 o'clock Central Time tomorrow night. Um, Cardinals pick 7th. We had the 5th worst record, but the Reds and the uh, Indians in the lottery moved up to 1 and 2, pushed everybody else down. So we should be picking 5, but we're picking 7. And look at this guy. 61 contact, 50 power, 47 clutch. Not good. He's not a good defender. We got to take care of uh, business here at the bottom of the order. That's in there. And it's 0 2. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Ooh. Really good 
say, especially with two strikes. There we go. Get him with the changeup. This changeup is on point tonight. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him. He's way out in front. See me scratching my neck a lot. I got my hair cut <clears throat> like about 4 o'clock. So I'm sure I have some hair clippings down my shirt. It's making me itch. You guys watch uh, Fiend Franchise, the guy been pushing hard for the uh, scouting. He's got a, a draft-only Rockies franchise. And uh, they knocked off the Giants in the NLCS, so they get a rematch against the Yankees in the World Series, and they lost to them last year. Another strikeout. He's got six strikeouts. Here's Nico Horner. Grounded out his first time. And that one clips the corner. Pitches outside. One and one. Two out, space is empty. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One and two to count. Good eye no, on that. Spot. The ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. Righty delivers. Bounce to the right. On the run, throw the first. There we go. All right. Doing here this half. We head down to the Only allowed one base runner. No score. Got to get the and offense going the now. This pitch counts up. Otani back to work. Inside almost got him. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get yeah, the crowd's chanting beat LA. Away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Swing at a high fly ball. Hitting it to the right guy for defense. We just can't get a uh, line drive. <clears throat> All right, Donnie, let's go. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Brendan Donovan. Had a huge home run. Two home runs in the last two games against Arizona. Way out in front. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. One out, base is empty. Out towards right center field. Reaching. In position. Trying to hit that to left, but we hooked it. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. Jordan Walker digs in now. Struck out swinging his first time. Mm. Yeah, swing it a bit. Look that by me. I was looking in her half. Oh, one. Outside. That's and that's ball one. Just oh, misses the mark outside the zone. Got him swinging. Rippert's down quietly. And we are it's fucking Otani. It's not like we're playing against a scrub. Game one of the National League Championship Series. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James out. Next oh, pitch misses. Gonna count one and two. Got him. Down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Right to start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success. Trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. That's outside. Probably looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Next ball brings in for a strike. And another ball. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. 
Swung on, belted. Back there. See you later. And they jump ahead in the fourth. It's one nothing. Boog, his plan was to Said his first time up. We got to keep him in the park. The rest later. You can't argue with those results. Looks like this guy was. That was supposed to be up and in, and it was over the middle. That's not where I aimed. Inside fastball, so direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Mia turns and fires the bats. Flips the corner. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Struck him out looking. Yandy Diaz steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one catches the zone, and it's 0-1. Diaz, multi-time All-Star, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he was born in Cuba to third. Yeah, we don't want to look at Shohei. All right, boys, let's rebound. He got his pitch count up. He's already at 40 in the start of the fourth. So. Playing the long game here. He's been pitching well. He did walk a hundred guys this season. The so. hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's Man, there's three and zero. Maybe he's tired from swinging and running around the bases. <laughs> Let's see if he gives him anything to hit. There you go, four pitch walk. I'll take that. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there. <laughs> this one wasn't even close. No now at the plate. Mm -hmm. Jumped all over that. We are very early on a 98 mile an hour. Mm. Can't be jumping at pitches. Oh, why did I swing at that pitch? Fuck, that was three straight balls. We made it three and two. Come on, Nolan. He's all over the place. Just got to wait for one that's over the plate. Like that, and we missed it. Speed splitter got me out in front. There we go. I don't know if that's going to score him or not. We're going to send him. And we got a triple. That is Triple's Alley. I mean, he doesn't have the strongest arm. We were going to make him throw the ball to third base instead of home. And they made a bad throw. All right. Come on, Henry. He's up to 57 pitches. He's about ready to go into the yellow. There you go. 
He's struggling. I said we gotta use his uh, low walks per nine rating against him. Right side, hard hit. All right, tied the game. The bag, and that'll do it. But they do get on the board in the inning on this run scored triple. All even now at 1 1. You're watching the National League Championship Series. And welcome back to the ballpark. Danny Jansen to hit here. Bang and a miss. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Donovan makes the grab one down. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Oh, look down and golf that. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Sorry. And now, These guys at the bottom of the order. His first at bat was a strikeout. Mother. I told her I was streaming at six, and she decides to call me. Boom. Over at first with one away. Strike two. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swim that early in the car. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. Received more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And here is number 15. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. Got him. Looking for the kill. Call strike three and a fastball up in the zone. One hit, one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. Told you the bottom half of their order sucks against righties. Where are we looking at? How many... Uh... Ten strikeouts in five innings. Back, ready to go for the last half All right, Mason. Now, here be patient. The shortstop takes the ball. He's throwing a lot of first pitch balls. He's already at 60. Getting ready to go into the yellow. One extra base hit for him, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. And the right-hander deals. Swing it a foul straight back. At the belt and fires. No, oh, I tried to hold up and just couldn't. And now one away. And here comes Tommy Edmond. Fly to left his first time. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Stupid, stupid swing. That's terrible. This guy is throwing pitches out of the strike zone to start the ABs, and we're swinging at garbage. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Oh, well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome. It seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. One well, tied up, last half of inning number five. Oh, Donnie got all that one. Is that over his head? No. Didn't get enough of it. Sounded good off the bat. Sounded really good off the bat. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there on its way. Gone. Can't hang a slider like that. Pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. There we go. Kept Otani in the yard. He had to take one pitch to do it. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Two down, base is empty, but one run across, and we're in the top half of the six. That one ripped right center field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Betts in the second. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Betts at second with two down. Right back to him on the mound. They limit the damage here. All right, two bad pitches and two home runs. He might be done. We've thrown a lot of pitches to get all those strikeouts. Back here at St. Louis, bottom of the sixth inning, digging in, Jordan Walker. With the right-hander back to work. Up the middle, and that chance handled. Now a jump throw. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. And now it's Josh Naylor. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's oh. the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good wow. execution. One down, base is empty. Here we go. Grounder, that's through for a base hit. Now, be patient with Nolan. Nolan. The next to hit, one for two. First wow. pitch misses. in there at the knees. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Here's a 1-1. Oh. Good to lay off that pitch down. And he deals. Mm. And that one fouled off. It's going to be called strike anyway. I was trying to foul it off. Nolan Arenado. Next up for the Cardinals. And the corner for a strike. With the tying run on at first, here in the bottom of the six. This ball's chopped to the ground. Boom. Sends it to first. And they get Arenado for the out. Where's he at? Getting started. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Danny Jansen. Mendo back to work. Right. The bottom of the order, so we can kind of go one at a time. Foul ball still low in a bad spot. And a pitch. Bounce to the right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly to first. And he just God, he's so slow moving to get the ball. There's no urgency to pick the fucking ball up. Next for LA, Alec Ball. Outside that's low. That's ball ball. One ball, no strike. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, one strike. Check swing. He went too far and it's a strike. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. And two another two. ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. James oh. up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Bounce to third. All right. Let's go. He's done. That's his last inning. And they brought in a new pitcher. He's got low walks per nine as well. Lighter, fastball, slurve. So he has no changeup. It's either going to be straight or it's going to break to his left. Believers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. New bar. Wow. In the box now as he leaves that one up high. Hmm, calling that slider. Missed it. Looking to get the tie run on base. And a count one and two.
Ripped to short. Jump throw across his body. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the second. So up next, Henry Davis. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be mm. smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Can, it's on the inside half. Don't chase that shit down and away. There we go. Get down. Nope, he's got it. Bullshit! You can't see because my camera's in the way. It never crossed the front of the plate. Can check swings in this game are broken. Oh, that might be in the bullpen! Go, baby, go! Go! Yes! There we go. <laughs> that one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get a Somebody tell Mr. Hurricane you got to let that dude play, man. He's never going to develop if you put him on the bench. Come on, Tommy. Tommy two bags. Oh. I'm a hawk that. Bad contact, but hey. They score, we respond. They score, we respond. That was a hanging slider, and he hammered that pitch. All right, Freddie Freeman's coming in. What do we got? So, Freddie actually has less power against righties, so we're going to bring a righty in. <clears throat> Eighth inning, we're going to bring in Sandlin. Freddie Freeman, he represents the go-ahead run. Nick Sandlin into the game. Now, there we go. There we go. Take that. <clears throat> Wonder who's going to go play left field now. Or is that the right fielder? It might be the right fielder. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. In the box now. Take strike one. Fouled off. He was late. Got him. Well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow gap. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. And yeah. Ooh, pinpoint. Pinpoint. Nailed that one. Lucky that one stayed in the park. All right. Need a run and three outs. Trevor Rogers comes in. Who's this? Jose Ramos. It's okay. And then we got all these lefties up here at the top of the order. They actually hit well against lefties. Here, look at Donovan. He's got 78 contact, so he's not a slouch against lefties. Here we go. Here we go. Tomahawk that. Got on top of it so the ball didn't stay in the air. I had top spin. All right. It's, uh, yeah, we're going to sub. And you know who's coming in. Our secret weapon, Mr. 99 Speed, 99 Steel. Not going on the first pitch. Now we're going to go. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. 
Why did he stop on the bag? He's running right there. He can see the ball go by the shortstop. I was holding L1. Just keep running to third base. It's like a hit and run. All right. Come on, Josh. What's Naylor? I was like, he's got 72 pitching clutch, so he actually gets better than his 65 hits per nine. But Josh has 96 clutch. We don't need him to hit a home run. We just need him to get a ball out of the infield. Or walk. We'll take a walk and bring up Gorman. Nobody out, guys. 3 0. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We're going to take at least one. It's okay. That's a double play ball right there. We might take this one, too. If it's not up and in, we're going to take it. Here we go. Ball four. Bases loaded. Nobody out. And Mr. 50 home run guy, Nolan Gorman, steps in. Tried to golf that. I wanted to at least get the fly ball and get the uh, sack fly. There we go. There we go. Ball two. Come on. Hang it. Hang it. Ball three. All right. He has to come right down the middle. He cannot walk in the go-ahead run. Got the call. It's all right. Strikeout's better than a double play. There we go. Let's go. Come on, Nato. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. And feel fly. It's only one out. That's a nasty pitch. Here comes Lars. Ball one. Come on. Come on. This stadium would be rocking right now. Oh, down the left field line, and that is. Good <laughs> slam, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Wow, what a huge at bat with the bases loaded to be able to come through with a swing like that. You know he was wishing it Bam. to stay fair. <laughs> Carl Edwards Jr. gets handed the rock out. Carl came in one batter too late because he has 91 clutch. They should have brought him in earlier. Tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And now... And Henry's going to find grass, and that's going to be a double because he has 71 speed. Still only one out. <clears throat> and here's home run win. Don't want that. He tied the game with a solo shot his last time up. Way high. Oh. One, one. Go, 
They have thrown a lot of pitches this inning. They're pitching around him, trying to get a double play here and get out of the jam. Moved him up so in case there's a bobble or a dive and they knock the ball down and they can't uh, get the guy at it first because Edmund is fast. He might be able to steal another run here. Or we can just hit it over his head and that's going to be caught. Uh, tracked it down. Hung a little too much. But Lars is the man. Last chance coming up here for the Dodgers. Game one, Granny down the left field line. Apo Taco, let's go. Number 13, he'll be out in left field. All right, new pitcher. <clears throat> We're going to bring in Mason Miller. On the mound now, Mason Miller. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Otani in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And that's in for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. And with that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He did right there. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Beats him. All right. One down. Here's Mookie Ben. Told you we were playing the long game. We were going to take a lot of pitches, get Otani out, take care of business at the bottom of the order. We've made two bad pitches the whole game. That would be the shortstop's ball right there. All right, one more to go. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it, just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And now here is Yandy Diaz. And now the one. They're yeah. down to their final strike. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Got him. <laughs> and that's a winner. That's a winner. See your team win at home. There's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. Game over, man. It's game over. Five run eight. Seven to your final here today for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Our final line tonight. Gave up five hits, only one hit at the bottom of the order. That's what I told you we need to do. We need to get those guys out. Two bad pitches at the top. Four, we drew four walks that game. Three hits for Newt Bar, five RBI. A triple and a grand slam. <laughs> Manoa, five hits, no walks, 10 Ks, two solo homers, and seven innings. All right, that's why I said we're, uh, we're only going with one lefty this entire series because they hit lefties well, so we're just going to load up with the right-handed pitchers. All right, the other series hasn't started, so let's save this. And now we have Bybee and Yamamoto. Look at Lars hitting 467 in the playoffs. He very well could be a uh, playoff MVP. National League playoff MVP if we get through this round. All right, 17 winner, 17 game winner. 
and uh, pitched great against Arizona. Let's see if we can get this game going too. He's got a very fluid motion. I love pitching with this guy. And it's not deep enough. Freddie's playing. He rolled him over. God damn. It's like he's in quick... He, he wouldn't move at all, and I'm pushing the button, and he's just taking his sweet-ass time throwing the ball. Look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Two down, nobody on. That one drilled left field. That's back there. And that one is off the wall. Throws to second. Bets into second. That's just because he wouldn't swing at anything inside and low. Got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing. And a fraction of an inch different on the back, and it is probably out of here. Runner at second, two down. Here in game two with the NLC. There we go. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. So they can't do anything with a two out double. No damage. Back here in St. Louis and towing the slab. Yamamoto does not have the walk issue that Otani does. So we got to be a little more aggressive at the plate with Yamamoto. So he's going to paint the lower half. Ball one there. O2 count, you got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. And now two and two. I'm looking middle in. There we go. Pick a leadoff walk. He's got to come in. There we go. Reached out and smoked that slurve up the middle. The only bad thing about Donovan is his lack of speed. So Edmund gets it going. We can move him back to the top of the order. Ground ball left side could be two. There's one. How about that double play? In the air, out towards left center. Out, makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Back here at Bush Stadium, top of the second. Here's the veteran first baseman, Yandy Diaz. That's ball for a strike. Nothing like postseason baseball. There's a buzz in the air. Every pitch seems bigger. It's truly special. A flip to the pitcher covering, and quickly one away in the second. Alex Jansen to hit. Danny. That's down and in. There really is a different feel to the postseason. I only got five games of postseason action in my playing career, but I treasured each of them. Next pitch is outside. Gets a piece and stays alive. One out, base is empty. Popped up. Has a beat on it. And there's two down. That was an annoying AB. <laughs> Very annoying AB. Tapped in front of the plate. That was a very nice AB, so balanced out. All right. Bottom of 
the second. There's Nolan. Come on, Moore. Nolan. Big time power. Yamamoto back to work. Mm. Hardy. Yamamoto, the former rookie of the year, he features a four seam fastball, a splitter, a curve, a cutter, and occasionally mixes in the slur. So now one and two. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. This is inside, and the count is two and two. Boom, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. He just misses, and it's three and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Headed towards the corner. Jameson sizing this one up. Makes the grab one away. Here's Nolan Arenado. Ooh, I don't know if he got all of that. I think it's going to be a warning track. Shy of the warning track. And that quickly, two away. And up next for St. Louis, Lars Newtball. It was like a slow pitch softball. Makes the grab and that's the inning. All right. Welcome back to the ballpark. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And at the plate for the Dodgers. Let me fix this. This is game two. No doubt. From the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind. Nothing. That's foul. Foul ball. Only two now. And that one is lifted in the air. Edmund going after it. And makes the grab. And there's one down. And now the right fielder. This ball for a strike. We tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That's in for a strike. That away, Missed my spot. Still curveball in fastball. Oh, almost hit that off the ground. One down, base is empty. Here we go. Swing and a miss. And there are two down. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. open a little bit with that front shoulder but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch keep the bat alive and here it comes to the right side Naylor. all right himself to the bag and that'll do it three innings in nothing doing for the pitching's been strong the bottom of the third and now the Cardinals catcher Henry Davis. we've allowed two solo homers in 12 innings Corner for a strike. One, one. You know, these cards definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over aggressive. The numbers tell us mm, they're so over that. first pitch more that than fan is starting to bottom my eyes. And that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting results. Bro. Downstairs. Ball, and another inside. ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate cover. Well, it was 0-2. It's up to 3-2. and 2. 
Let's make it be a good one. Good Foul that off. That Couldn't get my hands in quick enough. Another foul ball. Here you go, Henry. Battle. In the air, right field. Sizes this one up. Corrals it. And there's one away. And now the shortstop, Mason Wynn. First pitch doesn't find the zones. All one, no fight. Shortstop takes the ball. Um, no, because Tommy's not going to play second over Gorman. Although he could, and Gorman can DH. But then we've got we've got um, Walker's defense to deal with. So, um, I'm 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 cool with where they're at. Um, we don't have these guys signed to really long deals. Um, Arenado is going bye-bye at the end of this year, so Gorman may end up moving to third. And I'm going to play Sejaci at second, but if he doesn't work out, um, then we could put Tommy at second, and we could uh, and put Victor Scott in the outfield. We have a lot of flexibility, but right now I want to uh, limit playing Walker. He's got a great arm, but his reaction is not good, and it seems to hurt you more when they're in the outfield than when they're at second base or third base. So, if they don't get a good jump on the ball, it becomes an extra base hit in the outfield. You don't get a good jump on the ball in the infield. It's just a single, right? I even moved Donovan to uh, left field as his main position so that it wouldn't be playing him with a secondary defense. At some point, I did extend, I think I extended uh, Newt Bar, and I'm not sure if I extended Donovan or not. When we get done with this game, I'll go look and see if those guys are extended, because they're both going to be uh, free agents at the end of the season. Yeah. I'm not opposed to getting another bat in the outfield that has decent defense, but um, I don't want to take Donovan. Fuck! I don't want to take Donovan's bat out, because he's so good. I could play him at second, but then that means Gorman goes to third or he has to DH. I mean, there's a lot of ways that could go. So if so JC doesn't work out, then we could put Donovan at second and put Scott in the outfield or go get a big outfield bat to replace Arenado's bat. There's a lot of ways that can go. So Hell, I could play Henry Davis in right field and put Contreras back behind the plate. But Contreras is regressing and he's going to make 17 mil next year so i'm leaning towards trading him and letting arnado go as a free agent that'll open up about 50 million and if i go get an outfield bat i have to get a right hand i need another right-handed bat we have so many lefties and i love hitting left-handed but we need another right-handed bat to replace um, Arenado. And so JC actually sims well. He was hitting 295 at one point before I started batting with him. That's foul. We have given up three solo homers in this series. Right side. Newtbar moves under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Which is good. That means we're not giving up base hits with men in scoring position because their clutch isn't getting kicked in. I said the clutch, everybody above from Diaz up has really good clutch. And the bottom four guys have uh, shitty clutch and they don't hit righties very well. So we have a serious game plan for this batting order. I can't believe they're playing the left fielder and right fielder that they are. Shit, I'd put... I'd put Otani in the outfield and DH Freddie Freeman or play Freeman at first and DH Yandi. Um, these guys are just not good in left and right field. 
they are way top heavy on pitching. Starting pitching. They need to trade a pitcher for an outfielder. <laughs> they have way too many pitchers. And Corbin Burns is your number five. You've got too many pitchers. Yeah. It's they, they play well in the sim and then you use them, it, it fucks them up. And there are guys that it does the opposite. I'm watching Fiend franchise, and he has guys that they do better when he watches than when he sims. Walker's having trouble this series. Get out play. All the strike, the pitch. No, no. Okay, we go. Swing, appeal the third. No swing. He held up Carl Dixon with the call there. Our starting pitchers always play better when I pitch than when we sim. Although they've yeah, they've simmed good. better lately. Cutliff was having trouble simming. Sent him down, brought him back up, and he simmed really well down the stretch. Tink Kentz was really struggling in the sim at the major league level, not in the minors. He was dominating the minors the whole year. So we're going to run into a situation next year where um, I'm going to pause this. If I decide to bring Manoa back, because he's clearly the best pitcher on the staff right now, if I bring him back, we're going to have six pitchers for five spots. So that means we're going to have to either trade away Valdez or Bueller and put in Cutliffs in the rotation, Painters in the rotation, Bybee's in the rotation, um, and that would be Hentz. So we're going to run into the situation where we have too many starting pitchers. So I could make a deal and go get a big bat to play outfield if I wanted to leave Gorman at second or, or put him at third because that's what he was in high school. Um, he hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches. There's a lot of ways to go. Don't expect anything to happen. Yeah, yeah. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. That's more for a strike. And it's filled up. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific fight at the end. They all pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Curveball. Yeah, I'm not going to throw him a high fastball and let him hit it out of the park. No, nope, not away up. Now we throw it down. I to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. And up next for Los Angeles, Chris Jameson. Puts the corner. Strike one. That's a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter into the Ooh, man. You got to look up in the zone and spin on anything that's down. Change up. One down and away. The pitch. Ground ball could be two. Win. There's one. Nope. Took too long. It's all right. It's two out. Kept the runner out of scoring position. All right, we got to get the bats going. Back here in St. Louis, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. 
Late. Oh, it was right there. He's go for Miranda. That's good because Toronto needs a third baseman. Not that Miranda is that great defensively, but. There are two stud third basemen that are older that you can get for not a whole lot on your rebuilds. Now, if you, especially if you have the uh, salary space in your budget, because they're going to make thirty million a year for like the next decade. But it's easy to get Devers and it's easy to get Machado, and I I would rather have Devers because I absolutely crush with him. But. It doesn't cost a whole lot to go get those guys at all. Why is he? He's just jogging. Oh, come on. I swung at the arm action. He says plenty of energy. Yeah, late. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. I don't think you even have to give up a ton of prospects to get them. Devers, I gave up like one good prospect and a veteran that was a decent overall. Not even like a really good player. And Boston's like, yeah, take him. <laughs> I guess it kind of depends on if the team's classified as rebuilding or not. Got him to reach and roll it over. Slings to first, and Freeman is retired. Here's Mookie now. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. All ones the count. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Over the top half of the six. Hit on the ground to the right side. Got him! Wow, I didn't think he was going to get that ball to him. I thought he took too long to get up. Wow. wow. All right. Come on, Hank the Stank. Let's do something. We have one hit. But we did this against the Dodgers and Otani back in the regular season. We had one hit the whole game, and then we hit two home runs in the ninth inning to win the game two to one. There we go. There's a second hit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tommy two bags. Let's go. There was nobody out. I'd bun him over. Well, that'll take care of the double play. And now we get Donovan's clutch kicked in.
As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. If you walk him, Naylor's got a high clutch, too. I think it's even higher than Donovan's. There we go. That's going to tie the game. <laughs> Wasn't very hard, but it was very effective. Let's go. Hey, at least I made good contact with him. I didn't strike out. All right. All even at one apiece. This is top of inning number seven. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, James Outman. As he turns on the rubber with that good line on delivery. It's not where you want to put a curveball. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The other way. It gets down. Base hit. A leadoff single and the go ahead run is a four. Yanni Diaz now. He takes the strike. On the ground to third. One. And two. Huge sigh relief right there. Big time pitching to reduce the double play. You raise what could have been the go ahead run. At the play. Danny Jansen. Just missed. Into the Off the mound. So he gets on All right, base he's getting tired. Going. Alec Bohm is up. So we have a catcher who's slow and a guy that does not do well against right-handed pitching. So you don't have to take him out. Come on, Lars. There we go. All right. Get a run, get six outs, run out of this park. And we're back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now up for St. Louis, Josh Naylor. Mm. Swing and a foul straight back. You know, these Cardinals, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. One thing that stands out looking over the numbers is the amount of outs they have on the first pitch of the at-bat. They've given away too many at-bats with easy outs. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. I'd really like to see him make an adjustment. Get more patient and start waiting for that right pitch. Not just the first pitch. I think that can make a big difference in this one. That's a double. Clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead, runs in scoring position. That was the ninth inning I'd run for him. He's, he does not have great speed. He's got 29 speed, but I don't want to take his bat out in case we need it in the ninth inning. What? He can't hit it to left field. He got to hit it to right field. He's got it. One away. That has to be a ground ball to the right side. Here's the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Now we need a. Hit the ball hard, song. Swing and attack for the rolls foul. With the go-ahead run standing at second here in the late stages of game two. Ground ball left side. Boom. Goes out of first. It's all right. It gets nude up with two outs. That play won't be trending on social media later on. Now I can take an extra step with the runner. This game is a lot harder than it looks, Parker. And here is oh, way out in front of that splitter. Away at second. A big swing and a miss. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Two down. Go ahead, run and score in position. Definitely got the he better throw something up because we're just sitting on that pitch low. That's all right. Yen Yer 
Cano on the pitch here. And he did. Right through there. Cuts him up. Pops up. Foul territory behind the play. Davis drifts towards it. Makes Take that. Grab, and there's one down. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapse a little bit. And the launch angle not where he needed it to be. That one finds the zone. And the count is 0-2. Base is empty one away. And we're in the top of the eighth. Headed down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Oh. He is down low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees, and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One down, base is empty. Bows it off, still one and two. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Oh, oh just misses it. That's a really good take. And another ball. Nico Horn waiting to bat for the Dodgers. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Pitch. Got him. There we go. Hap Buxton sends a Not bad. Not bad. Don't want to walk this guy. And he can't come up with it. All right. So we have Otani and Betts and Outman in the ninth. <laughs> All right. Need a run. This is the guy that we did it off of last time. Come on, Henry. You need to be patient here. Don't want the slider. Give me the fastball. All right, Mason. We homered last time. Last game. We got a hit last time. Scored the tying run. We homered off this guy. Game one. Left the slider right there, and we parked it right over there by that um, MLB logo on the wall. Ah, dipped my PCI. Come on. The only good thing is we'll have the top of the order up in the bottom of the ninth. Oh, got under it. Brings it in, and that will end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Game two heads to the... Back here in St. Louis. Also... It's almost better for us to use a right-handed pitcher. 
Let's go to Camilo Duvall. Camilo Duvall comes on now. And a pitch. One pitch. One out. Toss to Naylor. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Here's Mookie to hit. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Right through there for a strike. Base is empty one away. You're the top of the ninth. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98. Got him. Tucks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance to make the contact with that pitch. And another ball. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. That would be a little bit high. Three balls, two strikes. Got him. There we go. Let's get a run and get this game over. Three up, three down in it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, two up. All tied, 1-1. All right, if either Donovan or Naylor gets on, we're going to pinch run with Scott. This is the guy we hit two solo home runs off of. There we go. Come on, Donnie. Try to shoot that to left. All right, he singled in win for our only run his last time up. There's a tapper up the middle and through. There we go. All right. Now we got to get him out, get Scott in, steal second, so everybody's clutch kicks in. Having himself a really nice yes. game at the plate. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle. Even We're going to go ball, first pitch so this time. Nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And the batter now, Jordan Walker. And it's a It's a stolen base. Singy, the best way to catch this guy might be on replay. Yeah, and sometimes it's the only way to catch him, dude. I mean, you see that sprint speed on Statcast right there. It's elite. Walkers do, man. He is definitely do. He had a really good first series, and he's struggling in this one. The winning run on second base. Uh oh. There we go. Man on third and less than two outs. Now they got to play the infield in. They were smart. They'd walk Naylor here. Hmm. Cannot strike out. Ultimately, you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Field two. Oh, he hit him. That's <laughs> the same as a walk. All right, now Gorman's up. Now they can turn two up the middle. Yeah, we're not squeezing him. Now with a 50 home run guy at the plate. Son of a bitch. There's one. Double play. And we're headed to extra innings. Well, the second baseman made that one look. Now into the ball game on defense. Number 13. I'm going to put Scott in center field. He'll be out in left 
field. Number 13. And here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Yes. And the pitch. Hey. Top of the zone for a called strike. Good eye in that spot. Ground ball up the middle. Of course. And it gets fired. You gonna run for him? Just kept it simple. Played no? over with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Now a chance for Danny Jansen. In there for strike one. There we go. <laughs> That's terrible. All right. Come on, boys. We had a perfect opportunity last inning and fucking pissed it away. Back here at Bush Stadium, stepping in, Nolan Arenado. Alzali, back to work. And he takes last time he faced Alzali, he hit a walk-off home run. That was in September. He gets to second base, I'll run for him. I'll put the JC in for him. That's why I didn't run for him. That ball should have went through the infield. That was smoked. Execution both on the mound and in the field to get two right there. Off the plate, ball one. Stands in with two away as he takes Head and turn two all game, and they turn two in back to back innings. Hard hit right side. Corner over to first. And we're headed to the 11th. Now we go to the 11th. And at the plate for the down. Two strikes may see some movement over there at first base. Fastball the letters close in for strike three. Well, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes it's a hitter when you're down in the count. five, four, three. Come on, boys, get the bats going. I think it's Win and Edmund and then Scott. And this guy has great clutch. 
So. Here's the shortstop at the play. Mason Wynn. Oh, a home run would be great because clutch isn't kicked in yet. Righty delivers. K per nine's low, walk per nine's low. All right. So he's a pitch to contact dude, so. Oh, <laughs> that was right down the middle. Right down the middle. <laughs> All he do is pop it up to the catcher. Fucking ridiculous. <sighs> Come on, Tommy. Off you to the bat. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Count four and oh. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the bottom of the 11. Pitch no misses. Touchdown. And that's ball two. <sighs> on the ground to short. Bets. Whips it to first on the run. Beat it out. Okay. There we go. All right, steal. Get in scoring ball. position. Safe. There we go. Base hit wins a game. Nailers on duck. He's actually got a better clutch than Walker. There it is. All right. Let's go, Josh. Need you to drive one hard, man. Oh, that play. Sorry. It's all right. Sorry. Right. Welcome back to the ballpark. We're in extras here. Now here is Mookie Betts. At the ball. And that's in the dirt. <laughs> strike one to Mookie Betts. One ball, one strike. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that. Lord he went. And Mookie takes. Can't get it. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go ahead run on base. And next for LA, Danny Jansen. Ball one low. 
Thank you for helping. Son of a bitch. All right, Romano has to come out. Hit that ball good. I just hit on top of it. Nolan Arenado, next up for the Cardinals. First pitch misses. And another ball. Base is empty one away, and we're deep into extras. Again, he gets the second base will run for him. <clears throat> One down, runner at first. Now it's the right fielder, Lars Newtball. 0 for 4, two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. Oof. Swing and a miss. He had that big grand slam last game. With the winning run on at first. You're deep into extra innings. Swing and a high fly ball left field. He's under it. Drops into the glove. That's out number two. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Henry Davis. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Missed. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. Two outs. That Whoa. one misses, and it's three and all. Fastball for a strike. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. There we go. All right, we got to run for him now. Mason Wynn kills lefties. Look at this. 79 contact, 80 power. He only has 61 clutch, though. So we get an extra step here with two outs. Ooh. Off the end of the bat. Runner edges away a second. And a count one and two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. That there it is! That's the ball game, boys! <laughs> and that's a winner! That's a winner! Well, in the postseason, there's so much excitement. <gasps> Everyone hanging on every single pitch. To have a walk-off win under these <laughs> circumstances, these people have gone crazy. What a nice win, but you got to turn the page quickly to come back for the next game. At your final score here today, 2-1. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Nico and Freddie both 0 for 5.
Look at that stretch. Bohm, Jameson, Mongelli, Freeman, and Horner. They were one for 23. All right, Baltimore and Texas are tied 1-1, and we're up 2-0. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Santander with a home run. Bautista blew it, gave up three in the ninth. Wayne, Evan Carter and Wyatt Langford. Langford with a three-run shot to walk it off. And then Baltimore comes back and wins 8-3. Santander, another home run. Flaherty got lit up. All right, at L.A., Bobby Miller, Andrew Painter. Painter had a rough game, sorry, a rough season in the sim. He pitched well for the most part when we pitched with him, but in the sim, he had a rough sophomore season. All right, here we go. Gorman hit no 91 in the middle of the order. It's not good. And if Henry Davis doesn't have a better game, we'll bring back Contreras for the next game. All right. Broke open a very tight game with a big eighth inning in game one, and then we walk him off in extra innings in game two. Festivities wrapping up. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you the National League champion. Just about set to go now. And the right-hander with the good curveball, Bobby Miller. Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start. In this Ooh, wasn't sure he was going to get that late start. He's not a very good defender in left field. So. And the key to victory for them here. All right, Jordan. Starter some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early and a few runs. It's going to feel like 30. One out, base is empty. That one misses. And it's one. He's pretty solid across the board, so he's got not, not a whole lot of weakness in his game. We're going to have to work for this one. Fights it off. You'll see another. The one two. Swing and a miss struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here's Josh Naylor. In the air, pretty deep out to center. He was blowing out the center, but didn't get a good enough that is that. hit on that one. Just a lazy fly ball. Back here All right, Painter. As you can see, 531 ERA. And more strikeouts than he's pitched, which is good. This dude's tall. Everything he throws goes downhill. He's 6'7". Uh, so he's got really good Ks per nine, good control velo. His walks per nine a little bit low. His hits per nine a little low. His clutch is low. But his clutch and hits are the same, so it's it's uh, not like Cutliff where his hits per nine is in the 80s and his clutch is in the 60s. For the Dodgers. Just went down and scooped that curveball into right center field for a double. All right. So much for sitting back. Got to lean into the game already. Not trying to do too much, but still 
still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. James out in the box now. No balls and a strike. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here in game three of the NLCS. Chopped out in front of the plate. Let's get the out. Throws the first in time. One gone by. And we can work on trying to strike out Otani and keep this runner from scoring. Yep, he's going to score. Did his job. It's over his head. And that should be extra bases. One run is in around third. Now a relay to the plate. He's in there. It's three zip. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Line to left. Donovan makes the catch, and that'll do it. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. Second inning set to go. Stepping in the long ball threat, Nolan Gorman. Hit hard. That gets through. And the leadoff man aboard. Here's Nolan Arenado. First offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Not even close there. One and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Gorman on at first. Nobody out. Double play. Right side, four, six, three, and they turn the double play. Sometimes double plays don't turn so quickly that if you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute. Right there, really nice footwork and a good feed to second is the key to pulling it off. Lars Nootbaar stands in now and watches strike one. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. There we go. Adios, Pelota. And they close the gap. It's 3-1. How in the world did he manage to hit that? It wasn't even in strike zone. <laughs> That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either he let that ball travel and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here two down nobody on ball one one ball one strike mm. swings through that one ball. ball just kept riding in This is now a three. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the switch hey. hitting outfield. Chris Jamison. The wind of the pitch. The atmosphere oh. around postseason baseball, there really isn't anything like it in the sport. 
It's the time of year where the rally towels come out and the crowd energy gets cranked up even higher. Whips it across. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Number 15. Batting with one down. Takes the strike. Right through there for a strike. You look up in the stands in games like this, you just see a giant mass of color. Everything just blurs together, and it can be hard as a player not to get distracted by that kind of energy. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. Pass ball for a strike, and it's 0-1. Bounce up the middle. Pitcher doesn't even try for it. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Yeah, the righty deals. Yeah, there's the strike. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. One ball. Corner off the first with two away. He goes down looking. All right, piss around that. Left for LA as the lead remains 3 1. Back here. Hold on. Chavez Ravine all set for the start of the inning and stepping in for the Cardinals Mason Wynn swing it a foul straight back and the right hander deals and ah. there's a foul ball didn't stay back <clears throat> the 0-2 that's a ball his understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. And another ball. That one just misses. And now 3-2. and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got a battle. There we go. That was a lot of work for that one. I'll take it. Run that pitch count up. God, I wish Wynn could steal bases better than he does. That time. Two outs, bases empty. Righty to the plate. And it's ball four. He missed down low. 
Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Then at first, Jordan Walker now at the plate. And that'll fall for a base hit. I might have scored a run if I hadn't dicked around with that steal attempt. First pitch swing in, went up there with a plan to be aggressive. You know what they say. All right, Naylor's clutch kicks in with two outs. Get an extra step for each runner. Ah, hit that hard, but we were really late. That one fouled off. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Two on, two outs. Right side. Corner. The throw to first. That's the third out. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get them home. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Dodgers three. And back here in L.A. As we go to the last of the third. Here's Shohei Otani. Oh, and that one off the outside edge. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Next okay. pitch is outside. Okay. Swings through that one. Feels oh. the chase up right there. Just pulled the string. Gets under and pops it up. Got him on the cutter. This one. Falls it in for the out. One up, one down. Now, now that is Now it's Mookie Betts. A double and a run scored his first time up. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Betts is definitely one of those guys that excels at everything he does, Boog. In terms of baseball, he can do it all. One world series. This ball is roped, and it gets down into the gap in right center. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And a foul ball. And it's second. Hey. Hey. Now two out. That was a clinic, boys. <laughs> Fuck you, Riondi. That's a little bit high. Betts at second with two down. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. No runs. One. It's game three of the National League Championship Series. Here's Nolan Gorman. That one is upstairs. A lot of pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. Outside low. Ball two. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Ball four. Peyton, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. That's right. He already won the first two games. Gave up three in the first inning of this one. Trying to get come back and sneak back in this game. Newt Bar homer to left center for our only run. Hit a grand slam in game one. This one in the air right field. Little trouble here. Looks it away for the out. And there's one down. Yeah. Mosaic too. He's already homer here in this one. Oh, that's another fucking double play. You mint. What a double play that was. Inning over. Ready to go. Bottom four. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Alec Bohm. In the air, right field. Newt Bar moves under it. Hauls it in for the out. His cutter is working great. And here is Chris Jamison. And that's off 
the inside edge. One and oh. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. Run around the move. Pitch misses. And at first, one away. And nope. another ball. Right, this is the zone. Ball three. Keeps the event going. Yeah, well, you got to get Walker straightened out, and we got to get another pitcher and at least one more bullpen arm. Lifted in the air, right field. New far moves under it. Makes the catch. And there are two outs. They really need three starting pitchers, but I'll take one right now. Here's Nico Horner. Jameson, the runner at first with two gone. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Just missed. Got him. All right. Worked out of that. After the first inning, we've shut these guys down. And the score stays three to one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Get some more runs. For the fifth inning, here's the catcher, Henry Davis. Foul ball there. You know, these cards just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them. So they no. haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Just missed. We want to get to their bullpen. We're going to make them throw a lot of pitches. Swing and a miss. That one is their bullpen gone. is... Uh, not as good as ours. There you go. Three and two. And that's ball three. It's all right. Six pitch out. I'll take that. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. Mason win the next to hit. In the air, out towards right center. Sizing this one up. They got it for out number two. And up next for St. Louis. Come on, Tommy Two Bags, let's go. Be nice to have Edmund back in the lineup, too. The Dodgers up by two. We're at the top of the fifth. There's the strike at the knees. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. As good as Siani is defensively, we need a bat. We need a bat. And it's not like Tommy's terrible in center field. A little up front there as he swings through it. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. <laughs> Two outs. Backed off the plate that time. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Lays out, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Thank God he didn't catch it. All right, now we got a man in scoring position with two outs for Donnie. Let's go. Come on, Brendan. Simplified there, kept his shoulder square to the plate and wasn't trying to overswing. I think that's the key for him to have success through the rest of this series. Donovan, up for the third time here, watches that one miss. Runner at second, two down. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Oh, you're late. It was 100 miles an hour, so he, it's not surprising, but fucking right down the middle of the plate. Pitch. Two, two, 
Got him up to 62 pitches already. Only topped it. It's all right. A lot of pitches. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. Swings through that one for strike one. one, one. Yeah. A good eye there. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. Next pitch is outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And he deals. Got him. That's a strikeout. Pretty nasty cutter right there. And you're Told you that cutter's working tonight. A lot more these days, and you can see why. Very difficult for hitters. I think the great Mariano Rivera can at least partially be credited for that thanks to the career he had with the cutter. It was just dominant. I tell you what, I felt like it was a moral victory whenever I could put that pitch in play. So I can feel for the guy right there walking back to the dugout. And he'll do it again. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. In the air right side. Dupar to dead sprint. Reaching for it and brings it in. And now it's Mookie Betts. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. That's three hits for Betts. And that keeps the inning going. Now he launches a throw over his head. All I did was throw it to the bag. I don't know what why it's so hard to throw the ball in this game. Yandy Diaz steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Swing and a miss. So, oh, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher yeah, he is. be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. He's got it. All right. Another inning. Three. Pitching around a base runner. One left for LA, but they still lead it three it's down. through five. We're going to try and milk Painter through six. All right. We go to the top half of inning number six. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter. 102. <laughs> that was late. I did feel tardy on that one, and that's going to be... We took that 100 mile an hour to right field. We just swing a little late and shoot it to right. Josh Naylor, next up for the Cardinals. This guy hasn't hit a home run in a while. Got to speak it into existence, God damn it! <laughs> we have a tie ball game. It's three three. The guy the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, uh, big moments. In Adios, Pelota. Four twenty at that. Where's Jimmy at? <laughs> oh yeah. To do damage, I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Here comes the we are tied, boys, and he's out of the game. We are into their bullpen. <laughs> exactly, he hasn't hit home run in a while. Bam, tie game. I used to tell my tell my kids the answer is always no if you don't ask, right? Especially when they were asking girls out. I'm like, she'll never say yes if you don't ask her out, right? So sometimes you got to speak it into existence. And we just uh, happen to do it. <laughs> Wild one, what's up? And next is the Cardinals four hitter, Nolan Trying to get a 3 nothing lead on the Doyers. Slider misses outside. And Stone is me he's mediocre. If we can get a man in scoring position, man, his pitching clutch of 54 will kick in. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're the top half of the six. Yeah, worst thing she can do is say no. Oh, answer is like answer is always no if you never ask, right? It's like Wayne Gretzky. Oh. Ground ball to bone. On to first. Now one gone at the top of the 100% of the pucks that go in the net, you don't shoot. They can't go in the net, right? 
Whatever the fuck his quote is. 100% of the shots you don't take don't go in. He's still going to be out. That's how slow he is. He's yachty slow in this game. Everybody else would have been safe. Come on, Lars. It's got to be the shoes. Newt Bar hit a grand slam in game one right down the left field line just inside the foul pole to blow that game open. Yeah, he hooked that. That's all right. Tied the game and got Bobby Miller out. Sometimes you got to just say it. Oh, let's go. All right, he's only had 70 pitches after that long first inning. We have been dealing. And you really didn't throw that many pitches in that inning. They were hitting a lot of first pitch base hits. You don't want to walk this guy. Now we'll go cutter. Yeah, we missed our mark. The top part of the zone, and that is strike two. The pitch. That one the other way. Fair ball. That's a fair ball. Luckily, he's not very fast. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely with a leadoff double. Yeah, I don't think they'll trade Helsley. Not in being in a uh, playoff spot like they are right now. They're out of the playoffs. I can see it. But we never pay for closers, so re-signing him. Made him hit that ball to the left side of the infield. There we go. Easy little flare to second. Man on second. Nobody out. All of a sudden, man on second. Two outs. This guy is not a good hitter. Can't make a mistake, though. Go foul. Go foul. Go foul. Thank you. And that's going to stay in the park. And Donnie's going to track it down. And we're going to the seventh tide. Six innings are in the books. Score holds at 3 3. <sighs> Back here at Dodger Stadium, we go to the top of the seventh, and here's the catcher, Henry Davis. First pitch. Likely going to replace Davis next game with uh, Contreras because Davis just isn't hitting. He almost hit it out. I guess I got to talk shit to my own players for them to do something, right? <laughs> All right, Mason. He's already homered once in this series. And we roll that over. Just missed. All right. Not swinging at this pitch. That's yeah, through. There we go. Now it can steal second and get in a scoring position. All right. We finish these guys off and win this series. We'll play the World Series tomorrow at noon Central Time, guys. Going on the first pitch. He's got a very long, deliberate windup, and we're in there safe. Now the clutch kicks in. We get an extra step with two outs. Just need a little bleeder up the middle like he did last game. Nah, don't swing at that. 
change up in the dirt. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second. Looking close to the strike zone. Come on. Base hits, probably going to be a big Perfect run, time. So you really have to execute on the mound. Wouldn't chase that time. Walker's on deck, but I'd rather do it with Donnie. Come on. Here the top half of inning number seven. Oh, right at him. Right side, hard hit. Tosses the first. That ends the frame. All right. It's all right. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the second. And we're done. I'm not taking any more chances with him. Sandlin's coming in. Nick Sandlin takes over on the mound. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Fought off foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. Right-handed reliever. Fights that one away, still one and two. And the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Center field. Made him reach. Going after it. Calls it in, and there's one away. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First pitch misses. Just missed. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything. Come on. Next offering upstairs. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Now oh, that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. Otani in the box now. Take strike one. Runner on the go. Ball outside. God, better throw and he's out. I mean, it was there in plenty of time. Chris is wheels with a difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with Statcast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base. And that's a big number. Man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that play. Right through there for a strike. Well, if both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match Please up better and who's able to get to the first line. One out. The go-ahead run is in second. We're the bottom of the seventh. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Good throw. <laughs> Fucking bounced three times. He's in short right field. All right, now I gotta get that run back. Thought for sure he was gonna make a nice strong throw, and he fucking three hopped it. Different, so we'll see what he's got. 
Looking to get the tying run on base. Go foul. He's got it. Away. Now up for St. Louis, Josh Naylor. He's already homered in this game. He walks, we'll put Scott in for him. Move Donnie to first base. Carlito, we're trying, man. We tied it up last thing with a home run that I called by Naylor. Two innings go, whenever that was. And then we pissed it away this last half inning. We can't get Mookie Betts out. We, I mean, we did strike him out last inning, but the dude's killing us. Come on, Nolan. Got plenty of power against lefties. We're up 2 nothing in the series, so... With a Gorman walks, we are not running for him. Not with two outs. Oh, broke his bat. Is that going to drop? Of course not, because Mookie Betts has fucking ridiculous range. All right, we hit two home runs off this guy in the regular season in one game, including Arenado the walk-off. So, yeah, if Arenado gets on base, we're going to run Scott for him. Here's a rocket out to left. And a quick out number one. It's always right at their guy. It's always right over our head, but it's always right at their guy. Maybe even extra bases. No dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. Now, here is Lars Newtball. There we go. We're not running for him. And the postseason success continues for him. And, wow. Yandy Diaz might have broken his leg. Do I run Scott and try and steal? I guess I should, right? We're losing. It's not a tie game. He's got a really slow motion, too. And I said I was going to pinch hit for him with Contreras. Because we just haven't been hitting the ball at all. 
And this is a big at bat coming, dude. Definitely a little added pressure on him here. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. You get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. That's going to give him a third base with only one out. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Come on, Wilson. We need a pitch. You don't have to swing. It's three and one. Especially with all the nasty stuff coming out of bullpens these days. He's making it a little interesting here. On the ground to the left. Tags the runner for one. And no throw. Fucking game. What the hell is he doing? We got a real rally hat going on now. For the Cardinals. Right through there for a Can you fucking believe that? He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. It's like Colton Wong getting picked off first base in the World Series. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Yeah, this fucking game's over. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Series. You go down three nothing. Players start packing their bags. They know that they're headed home. But they came out. Painter after the first inning didn't give up a run. He pitched really well after the first inning. I guess we'll find out how injured Yandy Diaz is. That's a huge bat in the middle of their lineup. They can put Freddie Freeman in. He's out. He's out for the rest of the playoffs. So Freeman comes in. His clutch is lower. His power is lower. And his contact's definitely lower against lefties. They brought this dude up. All right. All right. Change this. <sighs> Save. Glass now and Fromber. Um, and they hit lefties well, so we won't stay with Fromber very long if he's not doing it. You know what? I'm going with the babies. everybody glad you're with us just about ready to go and on the hill Tyler glass now what's the scouting report on him well that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand and because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike hitters commit to that pitch and before they know it they're swinging over the top of that curveball on the ground and that one handled how can he make that accurate of a throw running directly away from first base, turns and throws, and it's right on the fucking bag. Excellent arm on the mound, singing. They're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So 
You know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, and you better turn on it. Jordan Walker now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Pop foul out of play off to the right. One down, base is empty. Oh, that's off the plate. And a pop up right side foul territory. Why do we always get such weak contact? Freeman makes the grab, two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Josh Naylor. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Naylor. It is ninth season. Of the Good timing, weak club. contact. And he's the reigning home run derby champion. No, he's not. Aaron Judge won the home run derby. Pitch. One and ball. that one almost Two got three. him. Naylor well, was last year. Empty. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Of course he catches it. St. Louis. The Dodgers coming up. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Nico Horner. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That's in for a strike at 95. It's 0 and 1. And he grounds one to the right side. <coughs> Throws the first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Now at the plate, James Outman. That's the third, and he grabs it in foul ground. And that one fouled off. 0-2 oh now. On the ground, the third. Toss to Naylor, two up, two down. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. One. Two down, nobody on. Swings and misses, struck him out. Back here at Chavez Ravine, here's a big power threat. Nolan Gorman, blast now, back to work. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Chris, you and I have haven't crushed one with him yet this whole round. Not sure. He might have got one against Arizona. He hasn't been hitting for power in the playoffs like he did in a regular season. Even with me hitting, he's still not hitting for power. For me, Boo, the game I remember is us calling the 2014 AL Wild Card game. The Kansas City Royals hosting the Oakland A's. The Royals come from behind to win in extra innings and move on to the division series. They had such a great run that it ended up in the World Series losing to the San Francisco Two Giants. Three. And a pitch. Sharp rounder, that's through for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Here's Nolan Arenado. In the air, left field, settles underneath it. And there's one away. Lars Newtbar, next up for the Cardinals. Ah, way out front of that changeup. With glass now pitching today, I think about Come on, how Lars. intimidating it must be to face this guy. He's not just a tall pitcher. He's a six yeah. foot eight. He's trying to shoot that down the left field line. We are way too late. Come on. Let's go. He's going to throw us a curveball. And here it comes. Whoa, Outside. It One and two to count. And that one 
Rip to left. Good trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. How does that not get down and into the corner? And now it's going to be Henry Davis. Up the middle. Bats up with it. Safe at second. So two on, the two away. And up next for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. And fouled off. And a pitch. Oh, that's a long one. Is that out of here? Yes, it is. <laughs> That was a missile. Fucking missile. Most times pitchers asking for a new baseball, just like right there. And here comes Tommy Edmond. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Already three runs across in the frame during game four of the National League Championship Series. Bounce to the right side. Throw on to Freeman. Out number three. St. Louis gets three on the homer. It's now 3 nothing. This is the National League Championship Series on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Here's Mookie now. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. I uh, just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That one to first, Naylor. And he takes it himself. Take these the low pitch count innings. Great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Alec Bohm in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Look at that. To the right. 13 oh, pitches for two innings. Let's go. Let's go. Dodgers go down quietly. They trail in this one three. Out of the third inning, and here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Brendan Donovan. Here comes a pitch. <clears throat> he grounds one back up the middle. Oh, he gloves it on the run. Throw to first. In time. Got it. The defense for the CPU is just fucking unreal. Had nine gold glovers out there. See the ball suction into his glove. Man, oh man, that ball was absolutely smoked. Triple digit exit velocity. He dives, and I'm just shocked that the ball stayed his mitt. Looked like he was going to put a hole in his glove. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. <clears throat> Foul ball. It's important if he go one, two, three here, it would be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Foul ball still over two. <laughs> and that one Catch that one, motherfucker. There we go. Ground rule double. strategy of winning a ball game when you can make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by no. don't swing at that you can't do anything with it what was the point of that swing you're gonna roll over and hit the first base and it's fouled away last now 
ready in view. <laughs> if this is, it's a strikeout. The cards leave one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Bottom of the inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Danny Jansen. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Valdez, a former All-Star. He features a sinker, a curve, a changeup, and occasionally uses a cutter. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. In time. And the drop third strike leads to the first half. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, well, pitcher and catcher. WWE. Hey, my NCAA well, college football 25 downloaded today, so we're good to go on that one. Just gotta wait till Monday at three. That's inside. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing side. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Next offering is in for a strike. The Dodgers trailing by three here in game four. Dude. Just misses. Two and two. It's a good take. One down, base is empty. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Left hand hitter waits. That's a home run. Breaks up the no hitter. squared one up number 15 in the box now no balls in a strike <laughs> swings through that one the hell was that swing no ball two strikes and that just misses one out base is empty and a run in here in the last half of the third fouls it off still one and two Slash oh come on First, heading for two. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay. And he's out by a mile. What a dumbass. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Here's Nico Horner. Just off the inside edge. Yeah, I know. We kicked their ass in the first game. I, uh... I haven't even looked to see what we're doing in the second game. <clears throat> back a bit with this homer. It's now a three. Fourth game of the NLCS. Here's Nolan Arenado. The pitch. On the ground right. Quit side. swinging at the first goddamn pitch. Stop. The and they get Arenado for the out. The right field. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Lars Newtbar. 0 for 1 so far. That ball one to the right fielder, new bar. Goes six feet, three inches, 29 years old. And he's a former National League gold glover. That one pushed foul. The 1-1. One, one. And yeah, another ball. Out. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Mm -hmm. one fouled off, two and two. One down, base is empty. Nice change up. Come on, man. Come on, man. Shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. So two down now, and here is Henry inside, Davis. Ball Breaking ball inside. Ball one. That's down and in. Ah, tardy. So so much off speed. I was waiting for another one. Tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Two down, nobody on. Swings and fouls one off. Now it's three and two.
Just got a piece of that. Two outs. The three, two, Woo! Got the, got the call there, didn't we? All right, Mason. Went deep his last time. Is he going to go deep this time to the opposite field? No. But we're going to send him, and we're going to go three. Runner scores. He's out at third, but we got the run. All right. I wanted to make sure they didn't throw home. All right, so he's got a home run and a double. <laughs> and all four RBI. Is that a final? 4-3 Cubs? Here's Shohei Otani. Pitches in for a strike. And it's 0 1. Down. You can never say enough about Otani. In 2023, he became the first player in <coughs> history. I'm, it won't let me switch. Hop over. Thank you. I'm trying to switch to the other outfielder, and it won't let me switch. One out, runner at second. Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Mookie Betts. Fifth inning, okay. Kicks and fires. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. <laughs> Backdoor cutter. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0 and 2 and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after. That one in the dirt and gets away. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Two outs and a runner at third. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. <coughs> Damn. He makes the grab. All right. And that is that. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. We played four. It's the Cardinals four and the Dodgers one. Back here in L.A., we go to the top of the fifth. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Blast now. Back to work. Mm. And first offering is the <coughs> ball. You know, these Cardinals doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit That's every true. inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so... I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. <laughs> and that's a base hit. That was a rope. Back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. <clears throat> Everything was on. Put the pitcher on here. And he's out. All right. Trevor Rogers comes in. Early in the ball game, so this well, they're bringing a lefty to face the righty. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs. Well, no, kind of <clears <clears <throat> the that starter left for him. Walker in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Swing and a miss. And that strike left. Oh, what's that? The pitch. And a base hit up the middle. Here comes Edmund around. <coughs> He's safe. Tack on run. Up to a four run lead. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Boom. Tags the runner for one. And they get it <coughs> easily. At first, it's a double play. Because Naylor's slow. <coughs> Choking on water here. Sorry, guys. So now it's the four hitter. 
Nolan Gorman, one for two. Strike one. Try to hold up, but it's going to be a strike anyway. The other way makes the catch in and goes. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 5 1. And we're back. And now it's Alec Bohm. A wide to kick the pitch. Foul ball there. You know, these Dodgers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. That one's in there. And the count, one and two. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings <coughs> and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Got him. Look on the uh, title. We're up two to one. I update it, which game and what the record is as we go, so it makes it easy for everybody else watching. But yeah, we're up two to one. We won the first two at home. Um, first, first one we had a big rally in the eighth inning. Second game we won a walk off in the thirteenth, I think it was. <clears throat> Mason won, hit one, win, hit one in the corner. Played it a guy from second base. And then uh, Wynn has driven in four to five runs in this game. So he's driven in five of our last six runs, basically. And he homered in game one. Right through there for a strike. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, swing and a miss. Yeah, there's your home run. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> Back here at Chavez Ravine. Here's the third baseman. All right. Nolan Let's just keep tacking on runs. Mm -hmm. It's not a good pitch to swing at. A little bit low. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Josh Spores. Up oh, and loosening in the pen. Edwards. Getting loose as well. And another ball. That you want. Oh, Nolan gets a hanger and hits the fucking snot out of it. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. 448. <laughs> that was a bomb. <clears throat> he loves hitting against the Dodgers. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Now up for St. Louis, Lars Nukbaugh. Adios! That's right. To first, now one gone. <clears throat> Here's the speedy catcher, Henry Davis. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Henry's going to be our everyday catcher next year. In the air right field. No trouble here. <clears throat> away for the out. And it's two away. So digging in, Mason Wynn. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. And we're the top half of the six. The there we first. go. It's for a hit. Now he just needs a triple for the cycle. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Tommy Edmund. Line drive, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So the lineup flips over. And up next for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. That misses ball one. <clears throat> Just off the inside edge. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Fly ball, pretty well struck. That is belted That's over his head. Off the wall. It's going to score two runs. 
It's eight to one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tony Gonsolin comes in. Walker hits right, he's better. We're only in the sixth. Ah, rolled over. It's all right. Extend that lead. Put this game out of reach. Remove all the drama. And then we got to see if Manila can beat Otani in game five. I definitely don't want to go back home. Just want to get it over with right now. And we have home field advantage in the World Series because the National League won the All-Star game. Isn't that a stupid fucking rule? It used to be it would just alternate every other year. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Next offering is downstairs. Right through there for a <coughs> The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. He's going to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Ground Three ground balls to win. I'll take that. All right, nine outs to go, boys. Nine outs to go. <coughs> Baltimore in the World Series, is that what it said on the crawl? Or is that who you're asking for? I think that series was 1-1. One, one. I was asking you, could Baltimore's playing Texas? Is it Baltimore? Yeah, Baltimore's playing Texas in the ALCS in this game. Are you talking about in real life? That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. And now, Nolan Gorman. That's ripped. Base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Waste no time there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so oh, Nolan, he went deep game. last time. On going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always <clears> translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. The old play still gets us another run. Ah, jumped at that splitter. Thought it was going to be a high fastball. It's way out in front, and then it dove underneath the bat. <clears throat> He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Grounder might be two. I don't care. Gets us another run. It's nine to one. <clears throat> First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. I'm just swinging now. I want to get this game over with. High cutter, then change up. I'm sorry, curveball down and away. Curveball up. Sorry, cutter up. That's a second baseman's ball. Um, I was going to do cutter up and then curveball down and away, but it didn't matter. 
Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't this guy's killing me. Enough to really drive it. Betts, one, the no next strike. to hit takes outside. Just off the outside edge. And the count is 2-0. In the air on the infield. Love all this weak contact for change. Man, I said before the uh, series even started, we were only going with Valdez in game four. We're going to go with other right-handed pitchers the rest of the games because they hit lefties so good. And Valdez is just carving these dudes up. <clears throat> he could throw a complete game. That would save our bullpen. Down in order. They trail it big. It's 9 1. Headed towards the corner. Got it. I haven't used Matsui at all in this series. Marmol got thrown out. Wish they'd throw him out of the fucking team. I hate that little shit. What arrogant fuck. Cannot stand him. But, in his defense, these umpires calling balls and strikes are just fucking horrendous. If you go on Twitter and follow the account Umpire Scorecards, you can see the next day after the games are played, you can see their strike zone, percentage of correct balls and strikes, and their most impactful, incorrect calls. It shows you all the pitches that were strikes that they called balls, and all the pitches they called strikes that were actually balls <clears throat> and some of these guys need to be doing a different line of work <clears throat> it's horrible it's only at 73 pitches so he's got a nice pace Love these ground balls. That's why these we're throwing that sinker. Yeah, except it's it's a lot of guys. There's a whole lot of them that are fucking horrible. <laughs> That's the dude that hit the home run. We've made him look terrible his last two at bats. There, Tommy. That would be the third out. There we go. We're gonna let Valdez go. See if he can get a complete game. <clears throat> <laughs> get up, baby. Get up. Get up. A massive home run. It's 10 1. That was fucking smoked. That was an absolute piss rocket. this swing is he stayed tall allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ballpark really nice job next to hit Jordan Walker that's oh. off the mark 1 and 0 oh. no. there's a swing and a miss with the big bats coming oh, up oh, and a oh, home run already surrendered He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Swing and a miss, and that strike two. <clears throat> yeah, that's outside. Two and two. Mm -hmm. 
Can't believe we fouled that off. I thought for sure that was going to be a strike three. Right hander kick steals. Swings and misses. Yeah, it wouldn't matter if I swung at that or not. I was going to be a strikeout. All right, come on, Josh. not a big part of his game really good swing right there he got a pitch that he knew he oh, could handle man. allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws and that one is lifted in the air on his way over and makes the grab and I didn't think that was out didn't didn't sound didn't sound good off the bat <clears throat> and at first here's the third baseman Nolan Arenado. He's already homered in this game. This to center field. Out gets under it. They All right, off to the ninth. Let's go. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Last chance for the home team. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Nico Horner. That one inside. Ball one. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count. At times, pitch to contact, but the defense <clears throat> behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Whips it to first. That's only our 83rd pitch. Man in the ninth. Back at the middle of the base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Slappy matchup thing's not going so well. Now a chance for Shohei Otani. And a foul ball. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. Just something about that ninth inning. Look how there's nobody in the crowd. <laughs> they all left. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, he's out three, but he beats it. Good hustle. Took too long for him to field it at third base. What was that? It was like a injury cutaway in it. Yeah, come on. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. They're painting the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one you tip your cap. One strike away. Gets a piece and stays alive. Good job to fight that one off. Ninth pitch of the at bat, do next. Got him. There we go. And that is the ball game. Well, this was a huge win for this team. Instead of two and two in the series, they're comfortable. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Take the series. <laughs> One more game. Singing as the numbers show a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely. Wish Twitch would quit spamming my inbox. The beginning, a fantastic effort. 10-1. The <coughs> Damn. I'm John Shambi. Still so choking long. on that water. <coughs> my favorite in the 70s? Um, it's pretty tough because it was Brock and Gibson and Simmons and Reitz. <clears throat> Plus, as a kid, I loved Oakland with the long hair and the mustaches and the loud uniforms. Campanaris and Reggie and Rudy and Bando and Catfish and Blue Moon and Vita. <clears throat> Simba was the man. Can't believe how small he is now. He, was, he had some big, thick legs back then, man. I got to meet him one time at UMSL for a baseball clinic. <clears throat> Everybody had a hit but Newt Bar. We had three guys with three hits. Yeraboski was a character. Five hits, one run. That was a solo home run. No walks, seven Ks. <laughs> I 
All right, one more game. Let's get this win. It might be three, but we want this win. And Texas leads Baltimore two games to one. Orioles lost seven to three. Huff with a home run. Henderson and Dominic Smith with home runs. <laughs> Kramer, seven runs and four and two thirds. Yuck. <clears throat> All right, we haven't looked at stats. Let's look at stats real quick. Naylor, 11 hits. Mason Wynn, 10 hits. Jordan Walker, 9. Newt Bar, 9. Edmund, 9. Donovan, 9. Nolan, 7. Gorman's the one that's struggling. No home runs. Only two ribs. <clears throat> we're going to put... Con these guys, both of them suck. We're going to we're gonna put Contreras in for Henry Davis this game. I'm actually going to make lineup changes here. <clears throat> we're going to do that. And I'm going to split that up and move Gorman down one slot. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Manoa. Oh, they're going to go with Corbin. They're not even going to bring Otani back. They're saving Otani and Yamamoto for the last two. So Corbin Burns is their number five, but he's regressing. He's re regressing. Look, <clears throat> he's down to an eighty-six. He's losing. I mean, he's still decent, but he's he's down. Still has great hits per nine velocity, but his pitching clutch is going to come into effect and drop that hits. He uh, had a good year. He had a good year. <clears throat> a lot of home runs. Let's save. All right. Can we finish him off in L.A.? Where's 49er pimping at, man? I expected him in there because <clears throat> we're playing the, uh, the Doyers. And we're going to wear the baby blues again. Do they have their... They should have their... Yeah, there's their city connect. <laughs> Clear skies. Manoa. And switching it up. Get Tommy at the top. This was our lineup for most of the season. I'm going to put Walker ahead of Gorman because I want to break up those three left-handed bats in a row. There it is. Game five. Let's get this over with now. We'll be well-rested. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you. There's the first ground ball. <coughs> and help you get through the innings. The throw to first. And a quick out number one. Now we take a look <coughs> of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boo. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. One down, base is empty. And that's in the dirt. Way inside, gets out of the way. Left hand batter waits. Wow. Swung at ball four. Shit just boring right in on me. Started my swing, and it was way too late to stop. <laughs> Pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You just 
just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. Then goes on to first. St. Louis. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Nico Horner. That's ball for a strike. Mendoza. I know if you missed the first game. Six inches. One more. He, <laughs> he, uh, he had 10 strikeouts. A sinker. And he works in a changeup. Pop This guy must be filling in. DH, where's he at? Oh, he's in center field. Oh, so he's playing because the did 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 Outman get hurt? <clears throat> was that what that was? It Altman got hurt at the end of the last game. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch. The here goes the runner. Who strike in there? Get up and throw the ball, man! I hit the button. And he easily steals the bat. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just oh, lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base. But it's early in this ball game. I can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. And it's second. Battling here as he fouls it away. Right into the plate. That oh. just misses. Going to count one and two. <clears throat> that one away, and we'll do it again. One out and a runner at second here in game five of the NLCS. And now it's even up. Wouldn't Full chase count. that time. Jesus, how many fucking foul balls is he going to get? This is bad so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch. Even there we go. I'm going to throw that many pitches. You need to sit your ass down. <clears throat> This bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count off as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Going to put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. And misses inside. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. Now a long throw home. He beats it. And it's one nothing. Just Fucking so no arm in the outfield. Against a firm front side. And the hands just <clears throat> carry through the middle of the field. Last ball for a strike. And one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right one there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault it. At the end, 30 pitches in the first that's inning. At least our bullpen is rested. And that's the inning. <clears throat> the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now second inning set to go. And now the DH, Jordan Walker. The right-hander back to work. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Let's talk about great individual postseasons. One that really sticks out to me is Ricky Anderson in 1989. He hit 441 with three homers and <clears throat> 11 stolen bases, leading Oakland to a World Series championship. <laughs> On the ground to the left. <laughs> Snuck by, wow. That was weak. That was a... Seriously weak hit. Can't believe he missed it. Too good of a hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Here's Nolan Gorman. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Man, when I think about great postseason performances, hard to top Carlos Beltran in 2004. Eight homers and six steals in 12 games with the Houston Astros. He didn't even get to play in the World Series that year. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was waiting for that hanger and missed it. Okay, cue was cue shot right off the tip of the bat. <clears throat> Come on. That was a filthy, filthy changeup. God damn, the foul balls in this game is out of fucking control. <clears throat> fucking ridiculous. Another one. We're in the second inning and I've thrown 50 pitches. Oh, come on. Oh, quit swinging at the first pitch, guy. 
crosses across the first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Grounded out to short this first trip. <laughs> How do I look at the whole team? I want to look and see if Outman's hurt. <clears throat> the one off. And that one fouled off. At the belt and fires. On the ground to third. Boom. Goes out of first. And it's a one, two, three. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is Jose Ramos. That one finds the zone. It's 0 1. You know, these Dodgers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of it. He's only given up one run, but the starters pick. This one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. In the second, he's able to lead off the <laughs> Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Otani oh. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Check ah. swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. One you know, ball. sometimes all One it strike. takes is getting to the next arm before an Four, offense does two. any damage, and that might be the case today. One ball, two strikes. To the right side, and that chance handled. I throw what the? <laughs> Come on, game! Come on! Definitely think the speed down the line played a factor on that throw. He had more no, I think San Diego employs some EA fucking employees because this is an easy throw. What the fuck? Sports Gamers Online, thanks for the raid. This fucking piece of shit game. Bets now. So a lefty out of the pen. Chris Power slider guy, bro. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. And it's second. And there's a strike. I think he was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. And that's in the dirt. And it's two and two. One on, nobody out, a run in. You're in the last half of the third. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And the pitch. And foul ball, he stays alive. Turns and fires to Betts. Not close with that one. And it's a full count. And down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, he throws him with the chip. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. And first offering is fouled off. Ball. Outside. 1-1. One, one. Still only one out here in the inning. Of the pitch. God damn, how many pitches are they going to make us throw in this game? Fucking foul balls are off the hook.
26 foul balls, and we're in the third inning. Here's a one two. And they'll do it. 27. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. My God, stop. One down, base is empty. Swing and a pop off. Fucking unbelievable. It's how the game cheats. Oh, Dodgers need to come back, so we'll just make you uh, throw 900 pitches in three innings. Down the third baseman, Alec Bowl. <clears throat> Fucking bullshit. That's the third Arnado. Rolls across the diamond, inning over. Two run shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now I'm not even mad I gave up the home run. It's the fucking foul balls. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Burns back to work. Fly ball down the line. And that will drop foul. Donovan, a former Gold Glove winner, 30 years old now, and he was drafted in the seventh round oh back my. in 2018. That's, and that's downstairs and outside. And he deals. Stays alive. And a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And here it comes. Out to short. Bats up with it. Zips it to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Here's Josh Naylor. Oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. On the move to the gap. Calls it in. And there's two away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfect. Oh. Walker in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. <clears throat> two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. <clears throat> of course he catches it unbelievable this game is unbalanced and at the plate for the Dodgers number 68 and he swings through that one oh one Next pitch misses way outside. And now the lefty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The lefty fires. And now the count is even. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Sizes this one up. Puts it away for the out. One away. And now the right fielder. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. 
In the air, right field. Puts it away for the out. Nico Horner steps to the plate for the Dodgers. In there at the knees for a strike. Two outs, base is empty. Fought off foul. Way outside. Now one and two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that is that. And we're back. Stepping in the long ball threat. Nolan Gorman. The pitch. Breaks his bat. There's a soft line. Tosses the first. Out. And the leadoff man set down <laughs> there half the pit. Here's Nolan Arenado. And the first pitch misses for ball one. one ball. The part Stroke about strike. Burns' journey that's so interesting, former fourth-round pick out of St. Mary's where he pitched alongside Stroke Tony Gonsolin, wouldn't chase that time. But you go back and look at Corbin Burns in 2019. He threw 49 innings and had an 8.82 ERA. In the air, left field. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Lars Newtball will hit next. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. On its way to the corner. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. 0 1 now. Ball. One ball, one strike. fly ball out to left field as this one sized up makes the grab and that's the inning back here in LA here's the center fielder Jose Ramos he swings and fouls one off you know these Dodgers putting together some really good at bats in this game there's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate it looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early get him out of the game before he settles ah, in so I'd say three. mission accomplished that one, 95 to finish him off. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike yeah. zone. We're seeing more fastballs in no that ball. location. One Hitters, strike. especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull ball. the trigger. Outside low. And a count even, one and one. The one one is fouled off. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning, number five. Outside. And it's two and two. Two two. Keeps the back going with a foul ball. The amount of foul balls is just maddening. Two two now. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. And a swing and a miss. One one. Ball. Shortstop takes the ball. The wind of the pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Two outs. Ah. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Oh my gosh. Good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Dodgers go to back here at Chavez Ravine. All set for the top of the sixth. And the batter will be the shortstop, Mason Wynn. Here comes the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these cards definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over aggressive. One thing that stands out looking over the numbers is the amount of outs they have on the first pitch of the at bat. These motherfuckers chase everything down. Nothing gets over their head. This is ridiculous. Really like to see him make an adjustment. Get more 
patient and start waiting for that right pitch. Not just the first pitch. I think that can make a big difference in this one. I'm going to turn my camera off because I have to stand to play. I don't think you want to stare at my crotch, so I need to stand up because my ass is getting sore sitting on this chair. So <clears throat> We're going to play like Jimmy. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. One out, base is empty. Good job to fight that one off. Righty delivers. One, two. And another ball. That one misses, and that's ball three. On the ground, out to short. On to first, and Contreras is retired. To the top of the lineup, and here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Tommy Edmond. and a miss and he got him to chase oh, he's got a rare skill set out there on the mound even when he's low on energy his stuff still has bite to it you just don't see it flatten out just because he's tired he's still delivering good action Rolanda Freeman and they get Edmund for the edge. bottom of the six Freddie Freeman up to the dish oh. swing and a miss as oh, he was out front that time That one pulled foul. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Well, I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it, and kind of a gift in a two-strike count, but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Looking with the off-speed stuff. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, no you come in all of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one's carrying. Oh, 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 oh. Tommy up against the wall. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Game five moves to the seventh inning now. It's the Dodgers four. We go to the Dodgers <laughs> seventh. What's up, revamp? How you doing, man? Welcome in. He just casually reaches up. Late swing, foul to the left. We kicked their ass last game, so I'm not surprised we don't have the bats this game. Hater deals. One and more. that one is inside. He's not out of energy. He's got plenty of energy. Yeah. Just need to get on the board. Shake up the bats. Let's go. Score two or three runs. Make this a game. Kicks and fires. And yeah, there's the ball. <clears throat> That was a nasty pitch. And up next for St. Louis, Josh Naylor. Way in 
right side. Bases empty one away here in the late stages of game five. Boom. Taylor swings through that one. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. One down, bases in. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Messing with me, I can't see the strike zone properly. Most offering misses down and away. They're with the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Left hand hitter waits. Shots off the outside edge, and the count's full. The Dodgers leading by four here in the top half of inning number seven. And he walked him. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. One for two. Oh, fuck. Should have this one. God, I've not been able to hit the ball, drive the ball with him yeah. at all. And at first, Nolan Gorman. Now this guy is way overdue. Strikes in the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Naylor leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Jesus Christ, just get this game over with. it on his own and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh good late bite on that slider got the hitter out front rolled over on it exactly what he was supposed to do number 15 that it with one down takes a strike and there's a strike good heater at 98 no ball two strikes Best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. And I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on it. Both spin rates, these fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Right side, Newt Bar sizing this one up, brings it in. All right, third out. we got six outs to go. Come on, man. We gotta, we gotta get some hits. This is fucking ridiculous. Ready to begin the eighth and stepping in for the Cardinals. We have one, one hit. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. It's going on. And we have Yamamoto. We have Otani and Yamamoto the next two games. So we really needed to beat Burns, and he's shoving. He's pitched the best. Of everybody the entire series. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, they have four pitchers in the 90s, and Burns isn't one of them. <laughs> but their outfield is garbage right now. They've got. Jose Ramos, Ryan Ward, and Sam Mangelli. They lost Yandy Diaz to a broken leg a game ago, two games ago. And I think they lost James Outman at the end of the last game. I just went out.
if that kicked in or not. Yep, there we go. Win has just been ridiculous in this series, but he hasn't been ridiculous in this game. Oh, revamp. Uh, Baltimore's playing Texas in the ALCS, and uh, Nathaniel Lowe is out for the whole playoffs. I think he got hurt at the end of the regular season, and he's out for the year. They had a game that they beat Baltimore with uh, three runs off of Bautista in the bottom of the ninth. And they scored on a, a solo shot by Evan Carter early in the game and a three-run shot by Wyatt Langford in the ninth. Out towards left center. Sizes this one up. <clears throat> and there's two down. The throw is wild and it gets away. Jack Leiter is out for the year, too, so not that it matters. I don't know if he was even in the rotation or not. Well, we're going to need a grand slam in the ninth. Back here at Dodger Stadium, bottom of the eighth, and now the center fielder, Jose Ramos. Fastball for a strike. Good eye right there. The why to kick the pitch. Puts the corner. That's strike two. Next offering is outside. How does he not swing at that pitch? I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Riding to the play. Battling here as he fouls it away. And Sit the fuck down. Guy's been a pain in my ass the whole game. I think I got too much of the middle of the plate. Where's that throw? I, I, I pushed the icon to throw it the second. Well, most guys would have a double out of that, but for elite speed like his, that's an automatic double. He's thinking, how do I turn this into a triple? And that's exactly how you do it. Now it's Jordan Romano out of the bullpen. Here's Mookie now, and that's in there for strike one. Otani stands at third, one gone in the end. The next offering misses, and a count one and two. Struck him out looking. Basketball the letters, throws him for strike three. Well, he's going to have some thinking. Sit the fuck down and shut up. This one is his third strikeout. This one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. On the ground, right side. Gorman throws on the first. That's the inning. And we're back. Digging in is the At least we're at the top of the order. We still only have, what, two hits? The right hander back to work. That's, that's inside. Yeah, that's ball one. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, but the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. That catches the zone for a strike. And a count one and one. You just don't see it that much anymore, a guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. So something about... He walks Edmund, he's coming out of the game. Under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Ripped on a line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. And that's a leadoff double. Shocked that landed fair. Put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. 
Yeah, I'm gonna leave him in. All right, Donnie, let's go. So, man aboard. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Strike one. You want to get something going? This is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's gonna look over the shoulder and say, "I'm just gonna keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much." And a base hit right there. Fires into the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Well, that gets him a little closer in this. Phrase short to it, long God. through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. Squared it up with the well-timed swing. And Josh Naylor, the next to hit. Number 13. Here comes the pitch. One of breaks for second. That's in for a strike. And that's a stolen. I don't want to double play, so that's why we pitch ran. We see more teams playing for one run, trying to apply some pressure, and that's exactly the case right here. Speed on the bases, put him in motion, and it worked out. Now time to execute in the batter's box. The pitch. That one, one not close. Now one that was a tying run. I'd steal third. Good chase that time. The Dodgers trying to close out a three-run lead here at the top of the ninth. Got him looking. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. One for three. No. Just off the outside. I lost edge. track of the count. And that is ball one. I know it's right there on the screen, but I lost track of the count. No. Just missed. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second oh. has a very good read. He walks him, he brings up the tying run. And Gorman run. hit 50 bombs this year. to short bets now only one out remaining Nolan Gorman next up for the Cardinals <clears throat> oh for three don't want a home run I want a base hit nah fuck game over all right back to St. Louis we go show a great performance on the don't mound. care so I'll shut the fuck up let me look really set the tone from the beginning all right Dodgers all batters forty nine foul balls in this game forty nine we had 26. 49. That's why my starting pitcher only went two innings. He threw like 60 pitches in two innings. 49 foul balls. This fucking game needs to be fixed. All right. Bybee and Otani. <clears throat> And Texas is up three games to two. So Baltimore won that one. Kumar Rocker got beat up. Colby Mayo and Colton Kowser with home runs there. And Texas responds. Yuri Perez pitched great. All right, so. I need to see Outman is out. He broke his leg on that play at first base. So they've lost their starting center fielder and their starting first baseman to broken leg in this series. Diaz is out too. <clears throat> wow. 
and we're going six. Look at this outfield. This guy's terrible. This guy's okay. This guy's terrible. And this guy's playing left field also. He's got power, but that's it. Nothing else. So I don't understand. All right. Let's go, Tanner. <clears throat> it's Sunday, so we have to wear that hat. Going back to the lineup we had at the start of the series. <clears throat> Welcome into Bush Stadium in downtown St. Louis. <clears throat> the show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on. All right, Tanner Bybee won 17 games, tied for the uh, league start. lead in Tanner wins. Bybee. 17 wins. I say saves, 17 wins. This guy usually turns in a very good outing. His teammates really enjoy when he's on the mound. Everyone seems to be loose, which can help the offense be a bit more dangerous. It's a really good game for us last time, too. They're hoping he doesn't just settle in. They want to make this an uncomfortable start from the beginning. Out to short, win. Slings the first. One up, one down. And up next for Los Angeles, Jose Ramos. Right through there for a strike. Five. The 6'2 righty, 205 pounds, and he was a fifth round pick in 2021. And another ball. One out, base is empty. Popped up first base side. Naylor gets under it. <coughs> He's got it. And there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Hey. Shohei Otani in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. He's hit a home run in the series, but outside of that, he hasn't done much. That double that turned into a triple, that's it. He has not been productive at the plate. <clears throat> and he has uh, not a good walks per nine, so we're going to be patient like we were in game one, make him throw pitches. You got to be able to bat with two strikes. Should have taken a pitch. Oh, and there we go. I wasn't sure either. <laughs> so 
God damn it. I keep muting my, my uh, stream instead of typing messages in chat. <clears throat> All right, that got us going. Man, let's go, let's go. Barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Nolan Gorman stands in here, takes ball one low. Hmm. That was a filthy sinker. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. in there for a strike. One ball. And it's one and two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot. Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Cards on the board first with this solo blast. It's now a one nothing ball game. Back here in St. Louis, all set for the start of the inning. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Mookie Betts. Found back our way, and that's out of play. He missed it. it to left. So he almost always gets nice that. Throw the ball, God damn it! Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Runner takes off. <laughs> Fuck. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Right. He's so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Danny Jansen up to bat next. Leaves off for ball. Right through there for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Just that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Yes. A little bit low. Cards leading by a run here in game six of the NLCS. Ground ball right side could be two. Going toss the second. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin kill. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up with a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Alec Ball in the box now. No balls in a strike. There's a strike. Now he breaks his back. And that is that. All right. I'll trade the uh, one run for the two outs. Back here in St. Louis, here's Nolan Arenado. Otani back to work. Inside corner at the knees for a strike. The strategy around starting pitchers in the postseason, it's really changed in recent years. Managers are pulling starters earlier, oh, making the that. strong bullpen essential for a championship team. Right-hander kick steals. Oh, back off the plate. Ball pitch. Yeah, I think with starting pitchers, they're not going as deep in the postseason because managers aren't willing to let them get knocked around and put a game out oh. of reach. Most skippers have a quicker <clears> focus <throat> this time of the year. The pitch. Swing and a miss struck 100 miles an hour running into my hands. That's that's a tough fucking pitch to even foul off. Lars Newcomb digs in now. Swing and a miss. All one to count. Tied up here in the early going. Gets a piece and it stays 0 2. Oh. We win this series. I will play the World Series tomorrow at noon Central. Corner over to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Mason Wynn will hit next. Trying to make these days before college football 25 pass by quick. And I also want to get the season over before the game launches. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. <clears throat> now two balls and a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. 
mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Two down, nobody on. Oh. <laughs> That was 111. That was a home run, but foul. Foul. We'll see <clears throat> another payoff pitch. <clears throat> Two outs. On the ground, right side. Corner. In plenty of time. The first three up, three down. Back here at Bush Stadium. Out of the third inning. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, number 68. That one at the knees for a strike. Wilson Contreras. The pitch. Rolled mm. softly, but that goes foul. Contreras is uh, regressing. <clears throat> he's definitely regressing. And he's $17.5 million next year, so... <clears throat> These will be his last games along with Arenado. I'm going to clear 30... We, we're going to clear almost $50 million off the books by getting rid of those two guys. I mean, Arenado's a free agent, so we'll just let him walk. That was a filthy pitch. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire, and out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. Lifted in the air, right center field. Ramos tracks it down for the out. And here comes Tommy Edmond. Ball one, one, no strikes. Skips into the dirt. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back Real. there later in this count. Next pitch way upstairs. Walk means a steal. And a four there you go. <clears throat> Probably tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis. Runner takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Jansen, great throw. He's out. Terrible jump. Absolutely fucking horrendous jump. Right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great, but then picks a bad pitch to go on, and you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. Runner at first for two. Chris Singleton, shut the fuck up. He's over one. Jesus Christ. He's got it. And that will end the inning. One Here in the sixth game of this National League Championship Series. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Jose Ramos. To the left side, but it is well fouled. The 0-1. And he pumps it a strike. Misses the mark outside the zone. 
And a good eye there. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Time to tighten that up. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Otani stands in now and watches strike one. Into the outfield base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. <clears throat> Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And now it's Mookie Betts. Hard hit to third. To second, there's one double play. What a great killing to end the inning. Bottom of the inning, and now it's Josh Naylor. Otani back to work. Swings through that. Naylor goes five feet, 11 inches, 29 years old. And he's a former home run derby champ. Now, oh, come on. Fuck. Pay attention to the pitch. Don't just swing. The o two. The punch out there. One gone here. I'm gonna waste it at bat. Try to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches. I don't need a fucking replace. Let's just go. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0 and 2 and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. Got it started a little too That's early. Clear. Strike one. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. And that's in for a strike. And he deals. Swings here and blasts one left field. And he one hops the wall. Going into second. And he's got a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feel. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Is your one. Swing and he breaks his back. Rolando well, Freeman, and they get Arenado for the out. Lars Nuka, next up for the Cardinals, rounded out his first jump. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. They run everything down. Every fucking pop fly, they run it down. Nothing drops. And we're back, ready now for the fifth inning. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Off the mark there. One and oh. You know, these Dodgers need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. And that one fouled off. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have runners in scoring position because they put themselves there. He'll do it himself, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now it's Jansen to hit. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. The wind of the pitch. Back up, That's in the dirt. All tied up here in game six. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then carry that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. And first offering is fouled off. That one down the line. And foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down. Back here in St. Louis, stepping in, Mason Wynn. With the right hander back to work. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Boom. Throws out to first. And a quick out number one. Now have catcher. We'll see Contreras now up to the You know what time it is.
This goes out to NCAA 14 and college football 25 and all you pimps that love to play those games. Here you go. Contreras reaches. I'm going to run for him with uh, Scott. We're going to try and steal in the scoring position. <clears throat> He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. And another ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage. I can't wait till the end of the game. We got to get in on top right now. Be ready to turn on a fastball. One down, base is empty. Uh, unless we're going to hit a double. That was a filthy splitter. I was even down in the zone looking for it. All right. We are going to put Henry Davis at catcher. He's got 71 speed. We get an extra step because there's two outs and not going to hold us. And if Donnie can get a base hit like right up the middle, we'll score the go-ahead run. Plus it gives us a better throwing arm behind the plate. <laughs> Just like we dialed it up, man. Put that on the clipboard and said, this is how it's going to work. He had a good first round, and he's had a really tough NLCS. Contreras is in the game. He's out at the plate. Now this is in the air down the line. And a foul ball. Two outs. Pitch misses there. And it's one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Come on. Oh, way in front of it. That splitter is just disgusting. But Donnie does his job. <clears throat> Everybody likes Luis Arise, but Donovan's same kind of player, a little more power and much better defense and position flexibility. Swing and a high 
fly ball out there towards left field. Donovan puts it away, and there's two away. Next to him, Nico Horn. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their time. Oh, now a great stop. Gavis Nolan doing Nolan things right there. Let's go. Why he's a gold glover. Flash that leather around. And... Bottom of the sixth inning. Now up for St. Louis, Josh Naylor. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He's getting tired. And their bullpen is nothing special. That's going to be just a high fly. Thought I got more than that. Oh well. Here's Nolan Gorman. One for two. I need this guy to hit a fucking tank. 450 right here. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Just missed. The next pitch misses. Two and one. Revamp, we played Texas in August. Played three games at their stadium and they swept us. That's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. I would like to play them more than Baltimore. In fact, we, we played one whole game and I lost an extra innings. Played a great game and lost two to one in like 12 innings. Oh. Take that walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack his own either. Here's Nolan Arenado. First pitch misses. Counts one and oh. Right into the plate. That shot actually calmed me down, made me chill the fuck out just a little bit. I was getting, I was pressing. I was pressing a little too much. Get through, get through. There we go. They fired quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. And he's out. Good, good, good. We lit this dude up. Come on, Lars. No double play, okay? Yeah, fuck, that's gonna be... It's gonna be too slow. Too slow. Alright, gets the lefty bat out of the way, and now we got Mason Wynn, who absolutely crushes lefties. Look at this. 79 contact, 80 power. His clutch is 61, so we're gonna lose... We're gonna lose some contact. And he throws it by him! And we're coming home. He's out. A little too slow on the uptake there. Back here in St. Louis, now the number two hitter, Jose Ramos. That one finds the zone. He's going on. You can tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting. And right now, they just don't have it. That's a strike. And they got one and two. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are kind oh, of... Oh, backhander. CPU's always playing goalie. I guess it's our turn. I love pitching right there to Shohei. As long as I don't miss over the plate, he can't hit that pitch. Now change up low. No, curveball low and away. Curveball right there. Ooh. Now we come back with a high heat. And he popped it up. He has been a non-factor for the most part. This guy, though, he's been a royal pain in the ass. Third. Arenado to first. In time. 
We got six outs to go, boys. We need more runs. Let's go. We had a good chance last inning and pissed it away. There we go. That's going to get down. That's going to be a double. All right. Donovan, again, clutch kicking in. Base hit will give us another run. Mm. That'd be, that'd be I'll stay back. See the pitch. Drive it. Don't reach. Beat LA is what they're chanting. And another ball. Where's 49er at? He should be enjoying this. Beat LA. One fouled off, two and two. Come on. Man on second, two down. Oh. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Down and away. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Jordan Walker waits on deck. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create. Got it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He battled for a little bit. the top of the eight and at the plate for the next. Camilo Doval taking over on the mound. Yeah, These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a ball popped up. Gorman gets there. He's under it. Drops into the glove. One up, one down. Danny Jansen to hit here. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. One down, base is empty. Little up front there as he swings through. One ball, two three. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. And now it's Alec Ball. Breaking ball through there for a strike. In the dirt, and that's ball one. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Holding on to a one-run lead over at the top of the eight. Next offering is in for a strike. We tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And the tying run is on base. One of the things about that two-hour walk. Base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are on the offensive side of it. Two outs. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. Out to short, win. 
They get the first. Third out. That ends the play. The Dodgers leave one. We got um, nine, one, and two in the ninth, though. Hard on the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Here's Josh Naylor. He's already homer here in this one. And yeah, the first oh, no, offering no, no. is not close. Bounce and that got the pitcher. Whips it to first on the run. Bullshit! No way! No fucking way he was out. A shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. They won't even let you challenge the play. Yeah, there's a the ball. Swings through that one out front that time. Yeah, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, we've been doing it great. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. See? And welcome back to the ball. speed off the base paths it's not just the pitcher it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base so i think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base hitting is really easy for some guys come on see already his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time Guys like that, they have a high contact rate. And two down. A couple of pitches and a quick out. The goal. For a strike. He's out. <laughs> we win the pennant. There you go. You got Otani at the plate and you get thrown out stealing. What a baby back bitch. Barrett, is that you on first base? That's why we put the 99 throwing arm behind the plate. <laughs> All right. We'll be streaming tomorrow at noon central, boys and girls. Tanner Bybee. He shoved twice. Three hits in seven innings. No walks. Five strikeouts. Bullpen did their fucking job. Naylor got us started with the home run, and then Donnie got the extra one driven in. Yes. yes. That's the first pitch Matsui has thrown all series. <laughs> he threw one pitch, we threw a guy out at second, and then he got the save. All right.
Bible. All right, we're going to manage this game. It should let us just hit pitch for both teams, so here we go. Double play. Solo homer by Gunner. Two on, nobody out. First and third, one out. Corey Seeger with a base hit. Tie game minute. The corners and one out. Schwarber with a three-run jack. Texas is up four to one. If they win this game, they go to the World Series. Single and a walk, a fielder's choice. There you go. Double. Ground out. Walk. Fly out. Three outs. Now pitching for the Rangers, number 33, AJ. It's four to three. Ball four, take your base. Pinch running at first for the Orioles, number one, Enrique Bradfield Jr. Pinching the ball. Take your base. Number seven, Josh Young Kim. Josh Young with a home run. All right, here comes Tanner Scott. Here you go, revamp. This is for you. It's five to three. Texas Rangers get the dub. It's the Cardinals and the Rangers, a rematch from 2011. To look who is this a painter yeah it's not painter's not going to be the first guy <clears throat> and i'll have to look at their roster and see if i want to sub cut lift back in for painter um, very likely I will. If that's the case, then I would flip and put Valdez 2 by B3, Cutlet 4. So Texas and St. Louis in the World Series. Let's save this. Here's Evan Carter, 97 overall, at 24 years old. Corey Seager is regressing, but he's still in the high 80s and nine, low 90s. So he hit 41 home runs. He just missed winning the uh, MVP. Let's see, got five years to go. Yuri Perez, I forgot who they traded to get him. He's pitching decently well. Josh Young with 33 and 99 this year. Adolis. Dropped off to 23 and 64. He's he's regressing. Flaherty's a little bitch. I don't like him. Lowe is out. Torn calf. One to two weeks. So he's out for the playoffs. T 
Tanner Scott is your closer with 49 saves. Michael King won 14 games. Wyatt Langford hit 29 home runs. So Perez, Flaherty, King. Lighter is out. It's Kumar Rocker, Owen White. Yeah, we have a definite advantage on the uh, starting pitching side. Uribe is good. Bullpens are, I think we're slightly ahead. They could be even. So Scott probably makes it even. Catching, we're better. He's out, so Hoskins has to play first. Simeon's regressing. So they're playing Duran at second base. He's pretty good. Although he's he's regressing this year. Young's doing well. Corey's doing Corey things. Langford's a stud. Schwarber. Carter. And Adolis. Yeah, I might I might go with two lefties in this rotation. So all right, boys and girls, we are done. So thank you for hanging out with me. Those of you that were in here the entire time, as Param Crow would say, you're the real fan. Noon, Central Time, tomorrow. That's where I'll be playing the World Series. Trying to get us a, 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 a dub here, if you can see. It doesn't show 2027. We won 100 games. So we've had three straight years of winning 100 games. I fixed our rotation. I fixed our bullpen. And this is the first time we've gotten to the World Series. So we're not, even if we win the World Series, we're not playing, we're not done playing with the Cardinals. I'll come back and play more seasons. But with College Football 25 starting on Monday, um, it'll probably put in the back burner for, I don't know, at least a week or two. Uh, we still have the off season to do, um, and that's its own episode. Um, we probably won't have any rookies coming to uh, make a big impact, so we won't have to watch them. I'll have to decide if I want to go get a big bat for the outfield or not. <clears throat> I'm going to need a backup catcher. And we have to decide what we're going to do with Manoa, which means we could turn around and trade Bueller and somebody else away. So it could be busy. We'll see. Um, I might go ahead and do that one sometime later this coming week at night at like nine o'clock central. It really won't be that long. It might be a couple hours, but, um, um, I'm going to go live about two fifty-five PM on Monday, five minutes before the game launches. I'm going to go live so we can get in here and chit chat and ready for it to go. So if you want to do, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sim games so you can see the fast sim and the slow sim. I want to get through games so we can focus on recruiting and try to get through a whole season if we can. Um, and look at the transfer portal. I already told my wife she's on her own for dinner. So I have no time limit on how long that stream's going to be. It could be three hours. It could be six hours. It doesn't matter. So if you want to check out the recruiting, that's where we're going to be on Monday. But if you want to watch the World Series, come back here tomorrow at noon. Who can we go raid? Stoner Gamer. Big Baby Henny. If you want to watch MLB The Show, we can go Big Baby Henny. If you want to watch NCAA 14, we got Stoner Gamer. I'm sure he's playing with his Taco Bell franchise. So you can tell me in the chat, especially you pimps, do you want to go see Stoner or do you want to go see Big Baby Henny and stay with baseball? <clears throat> While you're deciding, do we have any other injuries for Texas? Lighters out, lows out. And we don't have any that's a triple A guy. So, well, if you guys aren't going to tell me, we're going to go to Stoner. We'll go to Stoner Gamer and we'll do NCAA. So, thank you guys. Appreciate you. I will see you tomorrow. Whoever can make it at noon, Central Time. You guys have a great rest of the night. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. Let me get this raid started and uh, I'll dip out of here.
that raid started. And uh, when you guys are ready, we'll head on over. Appreciate you guys, and I will talk to you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.